Hello and welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for being here. Today we are diving into a gameplay of Frostpunk, one of my favorite games of mm -hmm. 2022, one of the most anticipated so games to come in from Glass Cannon. And I have to be honest, Wes, yeah? I have so far lost every single game I've played. Yes, we have lost every single game we played, but you yeah. know there is a very good reason why. It's because we are not very good at surviving in a abandoned, winter, frozen, post-apocalyptic world where uh, survival is dictated by mature and very careful tactical responsibilities based around a core system of a giant generator mm. where you have to keep it warm enough yeah. to not freeze to death. Is that is that why we've I mean, that's Not. part of it. Okay. Uh, the other part is that we were playing on a super hard, like, uh, special Quackalope mode, which we didn't Will be didn't officially realize. announced later on. Well, yeah. Officially announced later on. Yeah. However, this, time, this is the game. This is this. the game where we are absolutely going for all the world to see. Yep. We are going to wreak havoc with Frostpunk. We're going yeah. to establish our dominance. Yep. Show you the, the wider world out there, just how easy cooperative games are. So good. Uh, Very easy. And for all of you that are struggling to win this as well, why? We're gonna show you how it's done. It's a lot it's of never, talk for someone who's never never, never won this game. No, it's never I remember playing the prototype yeah. uh, and the the designer uh, literally looked at us afterwards and said we need to turn up the difficulty a little bit. <laughs> so we are to, we are to blame. Quackalope is actually to blame in part for nice. the challenge that Frostpunk uh, presents. West, yes. do you want to set up what this game is and what exactly we're getting ourselves into here? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, this is a, a, a post-apocalyptic dystopian uh, world where everything is frozen over and the only places that are available for human uh, habitation have these big, huge coal generators that you're able to use. And these things, I mean, it doesn't look like it's huge here, but there's tiny little uh, buildings off to the side that we're going to make. So this is a like skyscraper of a generator that we're going to be utilizing and it will heat the surrounding area. But our goal is to try to continue to survive for as long as we possibly can in hopes that we might find other settlers around us yep. that we could potentially group up with. Uh, but the world is very bleak right now. Uh, I mean, we could potentially end up putting children to uh, to work. Yeah, it's based off of the Frostpunk the video game, mm -hmm. uh, which was... An amazing implementation of it, actually. I, I think, I, I mean, I think actually a very, very great implementation of a video game that gave you a ton of agency and mm -hmm. a ton of choice. Uh, and so, with that being said, I feel like we should set up the scenario we're playing. Yeah, so. And then uh, dive into the actual gameplay. Sure. So, uh, our particular scenario is uh, a new home canyon. Okay. Uh, not canyon, new home crater. Sorry. Crater. Uh, and we've also added in the dreadnought to our scenario, which is, uh, I believe, on page 10 of the scenario it's book. It's very if you pretty. want to follow along. Yeah, the dreadnought is gorgeous. Also considered a small building. Yeah, it is. Four small buildings, That's actually. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the, the the dreadnought, I believe, lore-wise, could be wrong, but most likely, but got us to this location, and now it is completely broken down, and we are using it as a scrap refuse, if you will, giving us steel, which will allow us to continue to make amazing buildings, um, and hopefully uh, continue to warm our civilians to the point where we can eventually survive a few more extra days. It's not. I mean, it's it is going to work. Yeah, it's going to work. It's, not, it's definitely. It's how do you do work. that? You do the. You do, it's it's it is going to work. It's totally it's going to work. Gonna it's a hundred percent. Not not going to break down at all. We've got this. Okay. Uh, so, what else is going on on the table here? We've got a lot of little maps, gears, grids. Yes. Okay. Little things we buttons we have to press. So there are definitely ways that we can uh, we can get defeated in this game. Uh, one is by the coal generator breaking down over time, and we have a stress board over here in this section where if it fills all the way up to the top twice, game over. It just explodes, and if you survive yeah. the explosion, you you die in the bitter frost afterwards. Yeah. What's nice though, if you, if you partially survive the explosion, uh -huh. half of you is warm. See? And half of you is frozen. If you've ever been in a hot it's a great idea. in like the middle of winter, mm -hmm. you know that feeling. This it's one just comes feeling. with more death. And this one, you it, unlike uh, a frozen piece of steel, you don't want to put your tongue on the, the generator. <laughs> I heard not. that's a bad idea. You can probably cook eggs on it. You probably could. Okay. Uh, so generator have? being destroyed is one way. Uh, another is uh, morale, your, your hope. Um, if you ever lose all hope, or the discontent is so high. Okay, so that's that, the game. That we placed well, that. It's nice to have um, you here. Thank you yeah, so much for watching. That that can definitely take us down. 
uh, which is very bad. There's also the impending storm. Uh, there's, a, there's a beautiful storm coming. Uh, it's going to probably destroy everything that we know. Uh, we kind of sort of have an idea of when it probably will get here, uh, and, but we don't really fully understand what's going to happen until it actually does happen, uh, but there could be more happening afterwards. We also need to explore, uh, and if we, we don't find those other colonies, uh, so then, then we're going to be in trouble, but we've got to build technology to be able to build more buildings um, to put more things out on the board so that we can actually survive and get to the next level of, of the game. And we will have to send out away parties by putting out uh, stress or balloons into the air so that we can start alerting people that we're here. Uh, and, and they're going to find things out in the wilderness too and hopefully don't bring bad people back upon us. And then in front of me, I have a board that's just tracking the amount of people that have sacrifice themselves to the bitter cold, the amount of people that are sick or healthy or none of the above, the amount of children we have in our camp. This mm -hmm. is our population board that's yes. uh, double checking if we can feed our people uh, and if we even have people. Yeah, and we will be uh, instituting laws, yeah. which is really great, which will have consequences, both good and bad, potentially. Uh, and, and we will also uh, just be really Man, we're gonna have to heal people too because they can get sick because they get too cold And if we don't heal them fast enough, then they become like really sick and die And then if we get overwhelmed with too list. many dead bed bodies Then we we will end up having too many dead bodies around You're and talking that, that to hurts your, too your, much your, with the morale And then west, we can go west. but then we can put Listening. them inside the dr high morale high morale We've got this. we've got this. Let's start. Let's it's go. Let's good. dive into the game. Be good. What's happening? What do we have? What are the decisions we have to make at okay, the beginning? Okay, so the very beginning, we've already chosen who we are. I am the health advisor, uh, and you are the foreman advisor. Now, these are going to be special characters that have their own unique uh, effects on the game or the puzzle that you're playing. So, mm -hmm. for instance, the foreman advisor here, during the preparation phase, uh, only if I exhaust a motivation, mm -hmm. place one near tile. If all near, near tiles have been placed, place one far tile instead. This is going to potentially help with us searching Exploring. out the yep. wider area here, which is an important place because it, it is not only the limited areas you have to build worker placement zones, mm -hmm. but it's also the potential resources that you can discover along the way. Yeah. Uh, and then with the health advisor. Uh, with the health advisor, also during the preparation phase, uh, I would be able to exhaust one care, which again is one of our, uh, our morale cards here, uh, and that will be to cure two people, which is very helpful when you start to get overwhelmed with sick people. The, okay. the bad news is we can't use both of these. We can only choose to use one, and we don't have to use one every single turn, which is nice, because we really don't want to be doing the morale thing too much, or you're gonna... West, west, gonna west, lose west. Hope. No, no, no. We can't lose hope. High morale. High, high morale. High morale. We've high hope. High ho, high ho. It's uh, off to fuel the generator. The which storm is... has made me forget that song. Has it? You said it would cause you to forget everything. It does you cause you to forget everything. The other thing is, we currently have uh, six cards of civilians here because we're playing a two-player game, and immediately we have to sacrifice one of these people. Um, Perfect. I am. You have your own. I'm, uh, I have my own. But I'm an expert at this. Wes. You are an expert. At I'm an sacrifice. expert at this. He looks very regal and handsome. I yeah. like him. Uh, looks a little it's a sickly. Child. Yeah. I cannot see his face. I don't trust him automatically. Uh -huh. Grandpa's not going to live long. I'm going to be honest about that. That guy's staying. He almost has to. And uh, he looks like a very useful hunter. So before you make My a spur check. decision, um, the upper right-hand corner <laughs> is the actual cost that we have to pay. Yeah. So I'd prefer that you not like <laughs> uh, go ahead and destroy us right out of the gate. If we can avoid that. Uh, let's um, see. What, what do I actually want to hold on to? Now, each one of these, do you want to talk through how these actions work with yeah. these characters? So, uh, basically, the reason we have cards right now is that we do have the ability to use some of these special powers. And um, uh, as we're doing actions throughout the game, we can substitute uh, people with these cards to be able to do secondary actions or special actions um, at either a, a, a reduced action capacity or a higher cost, but we get a better gain from it. Yeah. Um, so these cards are extremely powerful and we, we don't really get many of them. Um, so we want to utilize them as best we can. The other thing is when people die, if we don't want a random thing to happen uh, for the death, because you have to pay a cost upon death, uh, we, we can actually utilize the uh, these cards instead and make that choice uh, instead of it being a random choice coming. So. Okay. 
So take a look and let's work through let's work through the cards. Yeah, and what they do. So this one here is an engineer, which is the little blue circle up here at the top. So they're a very powerful uh, person. This one says you can use a building, uh, the medical post, infirmary, or the care house. In other words, a healing place. Um, we can activate care, uh, which is flipping over one of our hopes mm -hmm. to the active side, which is amazing, um, and perform the building's cure effect at the same time. So it allows us to uh, activate a, a bit care. of health control and perform the building's cure effect, which is awesome. Okay. Uh, this one here is a worker, so she's got that orange thing at the top there, um, and her is, a, she can use a construct action, so perform this action as, a, as normal, except you may upgrade a building by paying its upgrade cost and using two, uh, and using two sub actions. So we can actually upgrade a building and still apparently get to uh, do two sub actions, which normally upgrading a building, I believe, is your entire turn, so. Um, that could be a good one too. Then here we have our child card. Now, the thing about children in this game is that they just suck up all of your resources and your enjoyment in life. No, 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 Wes, Wes, that's real life. We're talking about the game. What? That's... But life is a game, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Uh, so in this game, children are beautiful. They're wonderful, and we're so glad to have them. Yeah. They absolutely don't become a giant drain on all of our resources. Nope. And when they Especially die, die them to work. inevitably die, <laughs> um, they cause uh, extreme amounts of uh, loss of hope. In fact, you lose two hope. Children are the future. For their death. Um, so we want to avoid it as much as possible, but we can get things out of children which are amazing. In this particular case, we can use a child to perform uh, a remove snow action, which is like hunting for different areas around uh, the building, and normally they're not able to do those actions because literally they do nothing other than take up resources. Uh, so those are the, the major things about these particular cards, the three different types of things that you're going to see. We do have more children cards, uh, another remove snow action. I have another engineer card here, uh, which allows me to use a building, perform the action, except I can choose which of the two law consequence cards to shuffle, um, which is really nice. Uh, and this one here, again, I uh, have a whole bunch of remove snows, apparently. So who are you planning on holding on to? And should I go through mine quickly so we can yeah, see go ahead. what we're teaming up with? <clears throat> okay, so I have a worker, gather resources action, perform this action uh, on an unoccupied space that has one or more trees, remove one tree from that space and gain two wood, uh, count this action as heated, which is very nice early on. We have a construct action, perform this action as a normal, as normal, except you may use two sub actions to move a small building without the non uh, dismantle icon to a valid build space. Interesting, so this, this guy will allow us to move things around a bit, which if you're bad at city planning, which none of us are, mm -hmm. could be important. Uh, we have a child that can perform up to two construct sub actions. Uh, we have a engineer who can perform this action as, a, as normal, except you may build over ruins which usually are not places that you can actually construct over. Mm. Uh, each of these builds cost one fewer wood. We have a deploy scouts, perform this action as normal, then place two wood below the chosen expedition. Gain two wood when the scout returns. I like holding on to him. I, li I mm -hmm. like some of our scouts having special abilities. Yep. And then we have a uh, another engineer, perform this action as normal. You may then spend three feud food to cure two. I think the one that I am the least interested in personally has got to be the worker here. Uh, who is going to be doing uh, the ability to move buildings. Mm -hmm. I rarely find that rezoning our district is the thing that we're worried about. Yeah, usually less, uh, less good. How much is it he costing He costs us, three stress cubes on the stress track. So he's at also- At the beginning of the game. Yeah, so, we, yeah. So at the beginning of the game, we're just gonna we're just gonna throw three stress cubes right out there. If we get rid of him? If we get rid of him, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That, yeah that is- It seems a little high. Okay. Then my, my person only costs one coal. Uh, which I feel like it's would a great reef. You want to do a cheaper person? I feel like a cheaper person would be important, but um, I like the other people though. Yeah, I mean we can throw three stress cubes up there. It's fine. Um, we were playing super hard mode, uh, hidden hard mode before. Okay, so. then I vote I get rid of my child, uh -huh. who's going to remove two coal from the map. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> You're not happy with any of my options. I don't like either of your options, but that's better than the three stress cubes, I think. Okay. Yeah, because at least it's one less potentially than the other. So yeah. Okay. Great. Wonderful. I have my people. So great. Um, just for the record, in case anybody wanted to know, we are currently playing under Society 1 normal difficulty, not the super hard Quackalope mode we were playing before. Okay. Uh, and we are under scenario... Didn't even West. What? Sorry, Quackalope stuff. Along the way, we've lost people and found new companions. Mm -hmm. 
We are a motley crew, but the hardships of the journey gave us a sense of unity. There is hope for us. We even managed to preserve enough food to be able to feed our children. At least, for now. Uh, that's great. I'm so glad we're able to do that. Uh, we're doing scenario 101, and little did we know Sean mm -hmm. Connery is actually leading this expedition. Is he? Yeah. Civilization has fallen. We, the survivors, traveled in a convoy in a split into several groups to increase the chances of reaching a functional generator. Our group succeeded. He's not really very good at his own voice, though. No, I'd have to say he's, he's turning into more of like a, like a Roosevelt or something. Yeah. What, what fate has befallen our order? Oh, the others. Lighting up a signal is going to gain the lost souls. Well, it might help to answer that question. Wow, Sean Connery doing a Roosevelt. Some things in here don't react well with bullets. Yeah. And I have um, no idea what you said, so. So, uh, the important thing here is that we currently have a uh, activation token on round four, so when we get there, something really cool and exciting is going to happen, which really means that we need to make sure that we build that beacon by then, okay. uh, which is important. Uh, and in round 11, we have another special thing that is going to happen, uh, and that we'll, we'll, we'll find out about when it happens, I suppose. So that is, uh, that's fabulous. All right. The other thing we have coming towards us is uh, in round nine, currently, anyway, uh, we believe there's a very bad storm coming, and lots of horrible things happen when the storm uh, hits us, and hopefully we don't die. I don't believe there's anything bad coming. It's just, there's going to be just such a great day. It's sunny. Mm -hmm. Outside, bright um, outside, bright and beautiful, no snow. It's okay, be great. All right, how do we actually get started? Though? So uh, we are currently on uh, the action phase. So we're going to. Uh, oh, by the way, here. Oh yeah. The iPad. So we are going to be running or using uh, not every feature in the uh, app version of the game, like right. we have the music and stuff turned off, and we're not doing some of the other tracking abilities. But the round tracker uh, that's helping us just manage the step-by-step uh, -step integration of this, mm -hmm. we're going to be using off to the side here. So. If you have Frostpunk, uh, make sure you go download the app. Uh, yeah. It can help you. It can definitely help you structure and, and keep track of uh, the pacing of the game. I even hear there's a trade function in it, which is uh, pretty cool. So interesting. Yeah, uh, but th this just helps us keep our track of where we are because there's a lot going on. So uh, with this particular one, we're going to start performing our actions, sir. So these are all of our people. Uh, what wonderful things are we going to do with them? Keep in mind, at the end of this round, we have to make sure that as many of them as possible are warm mm -hmm. so that they don't get sick overnight. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we need to collect as many resources as possible so we can build enough buildings to keep them warm. Uh, and also we need to fuel the generator so that we make sure that we keep them warm because we can build all the buildings we want if they're not actually warm it, it doesn't really matter uh, we do have to put at least uh, potentially three coal into the thing to make it warm enough to, to heat everything outside in the area um, and we also have the storm coming uh, I feel like we need to delay. build some some We've technical been over things all of this already just a lot start taking your actions okay um, we have wood, we have coal, uh, we have places that we can build. Um, I think one of the first things that we should probably do is figure out where we want to put the important things that we're going to need because we have enough to actually start building things. Over there on that side, if we wanted to start building like a tent, it costs two wood. We could technically build, uh, you know, up to two tents. Uh, or we could build, I believe, one house, which is uh, going to be warm all the time. But you really want to put those houses farther out because they will stay warm no matter uh, what because they've got a lot of really great insulation in them. So I think we probably need to start gathering resources, um, but gathering resources is a cold action. We could also explore around the outside edges so we can see what else is around Shouldn't us. Shouldn't we start by heating the generator? I mean, sure. It's an it's an action we can take whenever we want, really, I guess. Yeah, but it would, it would heat up these outer zones so that we're not taking cold actions whenever we go to gather more coal and more I wood. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. Yeah, so we're going to do, uh, we're gonna put three coal into the bank yeah. over there. Okay. Three coal. Three coal. Popping and then that goes bloop, bloop, bloop. We've, now we we've have everything. put us into a position where we are now not freezing. Everything is warm-ish. Warm-ish. Um, as long as we're not like on the the outside area here all the way around, we should be we should be okay. I mean, we could technically pay one more coal and then literally every action will be warm, but I feel like mm -hmm. that's wasteful. I don't know that we're rushing out to any of those outer areas immediately. Yeah. Uh, so where are we thinking about establishing some civilization? We need to we need to plan to get some houses down. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to because uh, we have some open areas where we could put like 
cheap tents down, uh -huh. and at least we can house some people tonight so that not everyone. We need going to gather to some resources, but theoretically, yeah. putting down a gathering station in a strategic area mm -hmm. is a better be use. a great plan. Um, there's a good spot right over here in the corner where there's an open area and we could gather from two different locations. But it would, it would, I mean, is there a better one on your side or do we remove snow from the outside edges and see That's what, what I was wondering, if we, if we start doing a few snow removal actions mm -hmm. and then actually uh, transition into doing some construct actions, because theoretically this spot here could turn into a really healthy area, mm -hmm. like a lumber mill, uh, you know, up to up top here, we've got five trees that are going to be within range. Mm -hmm. uh, this spot here could turn into a decent area to place down something. Yep, could definitely. Um, so we want to explore to start with? Sure. Okay. So uh, if we do a remove snow action, which is the explore action, um, we can do two close tiles or one far tile. Cl too close. Too close is a and good And who point. do we want to use for this? Just regular worker? Regular worker, yep. Definitely okay. don't want to use one of the engineers. So I'm going to hand him to you. So he goes he go? under right underneath here? here into the remove this snow area. side. Yep. yep. Uh, and I need to grab, those are The close far. ones to you are close. These yep. are close, those are near. and we need to set them down where we are putting them. Yep, we put them face down where we're going to put them, and then we flip them over once we decided that's where so, we're going to go. I think, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, sounds good to me. Strong preference? Oh, I think that works. Okay, all right, okay. let's see what we have. I have trees over here. Uh, I got some coal, and I got some wood up in this top location. So, one wood. We have two coal, and you have two trees. Two trees. But I did get some food. It would have been very nice to have those be switched. Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> uh, but we did nicely find three foods, so we can okay. add three food to our. So this list moves here. up from eleven to, to 14. fourteen. Yep. Okay. That's great. It's good news. Um. Hmm. I, I, I'm leaning towards a gathering station, maybe in this spot. Yeah. Possibly, or over here. Do we think we need I coal think, or wood more? I think over here is better because you only have coal there and those big trees you can't do anything with until you've got the yep. the sawmill or whatever. Okay, so do we want to take a build action in that zone to go and get a gathering post down? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so where's our gathering post over here? Uh, it should be over here on that side, I think. Gathering post, I'll hand this over to you. Okay. This is going to take a just a regular worker again. Yep. Okay. Ye old regular worker. And Can then the that's going to cost how much wood to build? Yeah. Uh, the gathering post costs one, one wood yep. to build. So uh, we'll take one out of the bank? Yep. And I'm going to try to find the miniature for it as well while you continue entertaining people. Fabulous. So now once we have someone in the gathering post, that means that we can uh, pick up um, the resources surrounding it. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that area. You can actually pick up resources from the different areas around it, uh, which is really good because we definitely need to get as much uh, as much of the resources in the area that we have as possible. I really think we need to start looking at putting, uh, maybe going through a law as well, because some of these are very helpful um, in, in these areas too. Because like, again, doing the child shelter, um, if we use the child shelter here, thank you. Uh, there we go. If we use the child shelter, the child shelter allows us to basically put down uh, the child shelter building, which will uh, house, I think, four kids. Yeah, are we gonna are we gonna keep the children warm? Uh, the problem is if they get sick and die, it destroys our our hope and morale. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with planning towards keeping the children warm, mm -hmm. uh, which means we're gonna need at least shelters. We're gonna need to try to get shelters for the adults. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean. I'm not as concerned about people that are not children dying right away, but I do think uh, getting some shelter is probably a decent thing to do. Okay. Um, so, but that, that's an opportunity. We could potentially put that one together or we could just make the kids work, uh, which I always vote for child labor. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that's a, that's a good plan. You do always consistently vote for child labor. But Jesse doesn't like child labor. He feels Strong that it preference. Is... It just doesn't help me win usually. <laughs> Nothing's helped us win at this point. Strong consequences <laughs> is the problem with it. Um, so yeah, I like I like child labor. Uh, it, it does require an engineer to uh, enact the law, which is one of the very few blue people we have. Okay. Um, so if we want to put something like that, we will still have to build it. So we will need to save wood and that kind of stuff. So if we want to do uh, the child shelter specifically, the child shelter specific specifically, yes. Okay. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine going for that. 
Okay, I think we should do it. So we'll put a blue person over here in, uh, this is the platform area, so where you're basically walking in front of people and saying, hey, everybody, hope everything's doing great. We're gonna enact a law. In Listen, fact, this is what we should do. We, we really, really need to build shelters for the children so that they don't die. Children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day, and they won't cause any mischief. I mean, mischief. They're still gonna charge. They're still. They're kids. No, they're gonna kids stay. Make we're gonna, it's a more of a child prison. So we like lock the doors. We a hundred percent lock, lock the doors. doors. Okay, yes, that's good. absolutely. That's what we should do. Really. Yeah. Um, good. So we've enacted this law now. Now what this does here is we have to go into our uh, dusk area here, and this says L two. So we've got two cards here, top or bottom. Uh, top for sure. All right, great. So we need to go ahead and mix this card up here into this deck, but right. we also have to set this deck up. Oh, so yeah. we have the card that we just got from this consequence. Yep. We have indecision, which is the thing we're aware of. Correct. We have inevitable, which is the thing that is always bound to happen. Always. And then a stack of other potential cards, which are mixed up Our and social set to the side and yep. aren't going to be, you know, involved at the moment. Now, does that, does that go on the right or the left here? That and one we'll goes to the right. Get these the, mixed. Then the one on the left will be kind of the discard issue. The, the area of punishment. Mm -hmm. All right. We've set that up. Uh, and we're now talking about building child shelters. Yes. The cool thing is, and we should have technically grouped this a little bit more accurately yes. than we did. We, when we take a build action, we have one worker on the build action, it counts for three building zones. Correct. We could build three things with one build action. We are not as good at thinking ahead. Definitely not, because we don't have enough. So there is lives. a strong chance we'll be doing some like, hey, we want to build these three buildings with the action. Mm -hmm. Where do we then find the piece of wood that we need to, we might bootstrap a bit of that. A bit. You know. I mean, it's, it's fine. Either way, child shelters. How do we construct it? Uh, it is a certain cost there, right? Uh, I believe it's two two wood, I believe. Okay. Um, here. Was what the cost is here. Yes, two wood to build. All right. We have that we wood have that we can wood. spend. So we'll set that off to the side. And where are we sticking the child shelters? Um, that's a good question. It should be, it, it's an orange one. So if we look back over here at the heat area, it is uh, one of the things that's it's the second rim, so to speak. So it could be in the outer edges here that's not part of the initial touch. So it could be in the secondary zone and it would be heated yeah. um, a little bit more. I, I don't- we I could don't, even sit it all the way out here. Uh, I don't love having the children that far out. I love it because it's an orange <laughs> building and it's way out there. So that, that means that it's an orange building heated because of insulation. And wouldn't it be, would it be a cold action to actually build it that far out? No, nope, building right is always a, a warm action. Okay. Because apparently you dress proper when you're building something and you're working up a sweat. So I feel like you're, you're just keeping yourself active enough to not die. Yeah, logic, logic checks out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I guess I'm okay with either of those two zones. I'll let you, I'll let you be the, uh. I I'm love serious. this zone over here. Let's put them as far away from us as we can possibly get them. Just the children in the weeds? In the weeds. Now, do we, is there another build action we want to take with the last thing? Like, for instance, we could do a gathering post over here. We could do a hunter's hut, mm -hmm. charcoal kiln, workshop, factory, sawmill, uh, medical post. There, I mean, there's a lot of... We could, we could go ahead and try to get a beacon down. Which we can't seems, until we have the technology. No, we, we don't have the yeah, technology. We have to build a, a technology thing to put that down. Then we can't. Yeah. Uh, um, I believe, uh, I think a hunter's hut is good because getting food is important. Um, right now we are dealing, we have two rounds before we have to have like 22 food. So. I, but I still, selfishly, I still kind of want a gathering post here yeah. because it, we have access to. I'm not hating a gathering post there. But I mean, it's only good. It, technically, it's only good because it's two per round. So technically, it's, it's good for. It'd be good for four actions, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not bad. I'm I'm okay with putting a gathering post there. If we're gonna put a gathering post down, now's the time to do it. Just keep in mind, it is. It we is. need some tents eventually as well, or something to sleep in because people are gonna get really cold. But we don't have enough wood to be able to afford it, so it really has to be a gathering post. It would be. It would be. Clogging up a, a build zone too, though, which is not necessarily the best thing to not do. Not the greatest, but it's okay. I can think of worse things. All right, I, I'm I'm gonna go with whatever you think on this. <laughs> All 
All right, gathering post it is. You want to put a gathering post I think down. getting the ability to get resources quickly and easily is better. One more wood, another gathering post. We are going to lose so badly. So badly. I, it's, it's okay, though. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Gathering post. Yep. I feel like I was too confident at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Too brazen with my accusation. Morality high. Morality right. high. High Let's hopes. Let's get high hopes. High hopes. We've got high hopes. You're going to love that. Your music really brings me dum, back to dum, life. Dum, 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 All right. Da, da. We still have a pile of actions, West. We do. Children are good for nothing. They are very good for nothing. Um, they're just annoying. They really just get in the way. So, uh, let's so go ahead and do a gathering action. Yeah, we action. need to gather. The gathering action, so it's going to give us one wood per space. Not one wood, one resource well, one per resource space, per space so, yeah. and, and each of these tiles has two spaces on it. So yeah. that's that's literally... This is a coal, a wood, mm -hmm. a coal, and a and wood. A wood. Yep. And that's then your next one killer. is going to be a wood, a wood, a coal, and a wood. And a coal. So we get a coal, a wood, a wood, a coal, a wood. Because that is adjacent as well. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's a lot. It is a lot. That's it's very saying. aggressive. Wood. Feels like that second one was maybe slightly unnecessary, considering how perfectly cool. positioned that first one is. But it's pretty awesome. A yeah. lot of resources early on will hopefully allow us to build very useful things later in the game. Makes life much easier. If only we were smart enough to know what things we should be building later in the game. Um, <coughs> tents or buildings or homes oh, or houses. Really? I think those are great things to build. All right. <coughs> so we still have three potential actions. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got two engineers. Yeah. Is there any other special actions that an engineer can do? Yes. So I think the tech building, building the um, the the factory or whatever it is that we need to build to do the rest of the stuff. Yeah. This guy right here. Is this what you're talking about? The I, is it factory? What is the one no. up on the very top? Uh, workshop. Workshop. That's, that's what the you're one. talking about. Yeah, we need the workshop. So if we build the workshop, then that allows us to also deal with these technology things here, and then I believe that also allows us to do the big balloon over there, which we need to do by section four, yeah, or by so turn the, four. The balloon here, the beacon, is the thing that we're going to be able to send up into the sky and release uh, people out on missions, which is personally the thing that I find the most interesting because uh, if I were in this camp, I would rather, I think, be out exploring the snow. For sure. Uh, than just scraping. And the good news about sending survive. people away on missions is you don't have to feed them. Yeah, they're and they're they're warm. They we don't have live. to we don't have to have a space for just, them to stay. We're not sure how they live. The more people do. we can shove off into the wilderness, the better. Okay. So uh, a workshop is going to be one wood resource. It is a red building. Mm -hmm. So we can like throw it off to the side. We can. You already kind of stuck our kids as far away as possible. It's fine. It's fine. Those kids are great. Uh, we could do a remove snow action again. It and... depends on how many more actions we want to take though. Right. Because we've got, we have to build. Yep. Right. Uh, and we're doing two of those buildings hopefully because we do we have enough to be able to do that we're gonna be able to do a few things yeah yeah we're gonna be able to do a few things okay if we build the workshop do we then try to build the beacon quickly as well i think that should be like we should sacrifice, be able to do all of sacrifice those some resources in order to get that down on the table too mm -hmm. hmm. and then what else are we thinking we're we thinking uh a house. We're thinking a house, possibly. <laughs> yeah, or something. A tent. I don't care. We got to get something for people. Um, and, and I would prefer to have stronger structures over weaker structures, knowing that there's bad storms coming and things. So you're thinking, I mean, we've got three different types of structures here. Right. Uh, the tents, we've never historically really went for. No. The bunkhouse is going to be able to hold two people in a orange zone, which will be safe for the first, you know two-thirds of the game yeah and the house is like an end game type of strat yeah i think the bunkhouse is reasonable it's gonna mm -hmm. cost three wood we, we we're gonna be tight on resources though we're not gonna be able to do a beacon and a bunkhouse right at the moment unless we did another gather action and just went and stole wood uh i do have a guy that's able to uh chop down a, or do you have a guy that's able to chop down a tree now i have a guy that's able to uh, oh no, he's a deploy scout. Mm, I don't have gather people. resources. Here we are. So I have a worker who's able to uh, go to a place with a tree, remove one tree from that space, and gain two wood. Count this action as heated. So I I could go pull a tree out with my bare hands. 
Just like straight out of the ground, yeah, just uproot. straight out of the ground, just uproot it. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean that's not a bad thing. It's less wood than I think trees normally give you. Yeah. It it is. It's definitely less wood. I think you get three out of uh, it otherwise. But yeah, I mean we could also just do a gather action. We, we could. We can't our, use the building our, again. But our gathering post is there already. So yeah. why? I mean, I guess it's going to be less useful soon because they're all, everyone except that one's going to be exhausted. Mm hmm. <sighs> all right. I think, uh, you know, uh, making it as, as full as possible is very important. At the same time, I'm not too concerned about it. So I guess if we waste one, it's not a big deal. Um, we also need a steam core for that balloon, though, don't we? Yeah, which there is one out there. So we should probably harvest that, because that... Again, it depends on what it depends on what we're trying to do with our last three actions. If, so, we're, if, we, are, if we are harvesting the steam core, uh -huh. doing a build, which is going to allow us to work towards the workshop, maybe a tent and a beacon, yeah. uh, that's a second action. Yep. And then, do we need to go to the workshop or anything with the engineer to, to build the beacon, or is it just... Mm -hmm. After you have the workshop, you can actually start constructing it. Correct. So we have one free action beyond that, which maybe we do another gather action exhausting this wood pile, uh, which will put us in a position where we can actually build a uh, bunkhouse instead of a regular house house. That's not a bad plan. Try that. The, the Or we send the last person out away on a mission. You can immediately go ahead and get someone. Uh, those are so good. Yeah. And we also don't have to worry about that person. That's true. For sleeping. So, so you're advocating doing a, a build action, maybe only getting tents. Yeah, I'm okay with a tent. Uh, we wouldn't even get a tent. We don't even have the wood to get a tent yet. Oh, we don't. No, we're gonna we're gonna be one tight. We might maybe just make people cold. I don't mind getting someone out on a mission. Honestly, you, they usually come back with some good resources. They do. And there's some narrative pathways there, and I like yeah. more. Uh, let's try that. Okay. Let's move forward with that. So right. I'm going to send an engineer out yep. to this far area Good. to do a gather action for the steel. That is a warm location this is, or not? That's a cold action, right? This is... Yes, it is a cold That's action. That's cold. Uh, which means... So we could just pump one more pump one more coal up there and then it won't be cold anymore. You want to toss more for one person? I mean, I don't mind. It's just, it's, it'll just make one person sick, right? Isn't that the consequence? It, it will make. And we're gonna have, sick. we're gonna have a worker sick from this as well. Which are we supposed to do oh, that? Oh yeah, we should have done that beforehand. When so we put, as soon we as we did that, snow, we should have, we should have automatically made one person sick. We already have one person sick. Yep. This would make a scientist sick, an engineer sick. It would, yeah. I mean, it's, the, it's fine as long as they don't touch anybody, um, and they stay under four. So. It, it's not that big of a deal. Let's not spend the coal yet. The let's, let's, just, let's just call that. All right, it's fine. We're going to need the it's coal later. just a runny nose. We don't have to worry that much about it. We're going to make them wear a mask. Don't worry. Right. Uh, it, honestly, it's they're already wearing a mask. It's, yeah, it's freezing outside. They're like a balacaba and, and How'd they a, get sick a in the first grass. Place? And it's probably because they didn't wear layers. Like they just put on that big heavy coat and that was it and they should have thought more about it. Their mom told them, clean underwear and yeah. layers. That was what, that's the we'll most important thing. healthy. Things. That's what they say. I don't Moms know I don't everything. do either of those things. I don't either. Never do. Man. Uh, okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we've got our steam core. Yep. So now we're, we're ready. To, a, now we're going to take a build action. So we're going to take a build action using our other engineer. Yep, because we don't want to sacrifice them because they're too valuable. Probably best not to send them out on an expedition to yeah. death. We're going to go ahead and build a workshop, which is going to cost us one wood. Yep. In a red zone, conveniently west, where are you going to put it? Huh? Any of those far-reaching areas that would um, be nice to have that in? This is no? good right over here. This, this oh, yellow area. Closer than the child it's, shelter? Um, yeah, it's a good it's a good orange okay. zone. Uh, are we sure? I would do it one up. Sure. Because this area might turn more profitable okay. when we start exploring the tiles around it. That works for Imagine me. if we got like a forest of trees here. Yeah, it's totally a good idea. Okay. Uh, after that... We are going to build other things. We have to decide what else we want to build. The beacon is a obvious choice. Mm -hmm. And my advocacy for the beacon was right here. Sacrifice a coal. Oh, that's right, because we're out of space. We, right we're out now. of space for it. Something's got to go. Yeah, the one coal is better than the other. Or we put this back here and we just do the one wood, but I think wood's more valuable than coal right now. For now, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's it's it's... Neither here, neither there. I mean, we've got trees on the map. We could harvest the wood from them. Sure. Uh, coal is 
pretty darn valuable eventually, mm -hmm. but we can also start generating coal with trees if we end up building a charcoal kiln. Yeah. And we could uh, potentially get around area and do a coal thumper or something. So I think we yeah. wipe the coal. Coal it is. I think we get the beacon down. Yep. I will find buildings for all these things in just a moment. Okay. Uh, after that... And that we, also cost our... So, it's three wood. And the steam core. Uh, and the steam core, which is the thing that I don't like spending. Yep. Uh, after that, we need to now decide what else we want to build. We only have one coal left, so here's our decisions. One wood, yep. Gathering post, uh -huh. hunter's hut, charcoal kiln. Uh, Hunter's Hut for now, I think it's probably more valuable. Yep, I don't disagree. So, Hunter's Hut, this is a yellow. Do we do it close in, next to our actual building? No, I think you throw it, again, out as far as you can. The, the yellow? Oh, yeah, it's a yellow. Yeah, so there's fine. Okay. We have a Hunter's Hut established. Last wood is going to be exhausted here. Uh, and now, we are going to send an expedition. We are, yes. And the great news about expeditions is that because we've got our beacon up, now we can send someone away on the expedition and we don't have to worry so much about feeding them, or not feeding them necessarily, but we don't have to worry about um, dealing with them uh, for shelter at the end, which is which is super fab. The beacon! The beacon! I did it. It's very nice. Good job. Okay, this is here. Because we're sending someone out, it is going to uh, fluff up into the sky. Yes. And I'll go ahead and find, while you start processing that, I'm going to go ahead we and look for... Buildings. also have the technology thing now, and I believe we're able to activate that technology right away as well. Um, and we have to send someone away, potentially on the expedition, with our last person. Okay. So, um, do we want to talk about... Uh, these different technologies that we have yeah. available. Go ahead and read through them there while I grab the uh, locations that we've put down. Great. So um, we have four different options for technologies that we can deal with. We have the generator safety system, um, which is before checking a generator breakdown, if there are two or fewer stress cubes in the overflow space, which is up here on the track, uh, you can remove those cubes without any effect whatsoever, which is pretty awesome. Although two cubes isn't really that many, but it's kind of like, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, whenever you use the generator building, remove uh, an additional stress cube from the stress track, which is really nice because you can use the generator building here on the right hand side and remove five so you could actually remove six so it's a much a little bit stronger of an action um, we have the uh, hunting tactics which is during the weather phase you gain an additional one food for every two hunting symbols um, right now we have uh, just the one hunting symbol but hopefully we can have some more here in the future so that's not a bad one either a uh, lighter scout sled. So whenever you deploy scouts to an expedition or continue an expedition, move the scout one space forward. So that's not bad either. Um, it gives them one extra uh, movement space there. And then whenever you use a medical post, you may treat two instead of its normal effect. So uh, we could treat two instead of just whatever it normally does, which I guess is must be one. So what are you leaning towards? I I think either of these two are great, but I'm always skewed this direction towards the generator phase because we were so destroyed by our mm -hmm. generator phase before. But hopefully if we're playing in the not so super hard Quackalope mode, we won't have as big of a worry about it, at least not till later in the end game. Um, so I think- I honestly game. lead towards lighter scout sleds. Yep. Personally. I, I like exploration in this game. I think that's a good one. So I'm totally fine with that. Okay, we want to pull that. Yep. Uh, so where does this go in our roster of technology? So that means that it is now, uh, it stays here okay. on the map and it just doesn't have a token anymore. And that means that that is the technology that we're currently working on. So four rounds from now, this will have this note that it will now be available. So one, two, three, and four, which puts it on round five, that it okay. should in theory be be awakened. So we're going on in exploration. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I've got my worker here. Now, do I want to actually use one of my personalized workers to do this exploration? Do you have anything that allows you to do better stuff so with exploration? So I have a deploy scouts. You want to read over that and, yeah, and so, dig through it? Uh, deploy scouts, you can perform this action as normal with 
uh, and then place two wood below the chosen expedition. Gain the two wood when the scout returns from that. Wow, that's really good. The extra wood? It's yeah. not terrible. That's a great Should idea. Should I go ahead and spend that so yeah. that we, uh, we get that bonus? I think that's a fabulous idea. I've okay. never even seen an expedition one before. So if I'm that's doing cool. that, we now have to decide what expedition we want to go on. And right. we have them in stacks right now, but I'm actually going to set them... Uh, yeah, so we should you should have slightly. three A's available for you to take a look at. So A1, mm -hmm. A2, A3. And someone did a great job shoveling those because uh, on the top right hand corner it tells you what you theoretically could expect. Usually it's either resources, people, or eh, maybe, you never know. Um, and so we have two, pe two ones that say people and we have another one that says, who knows? It could yeah, be people and or resources. It says snowy, campsite, and ruins. Yeah. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of walking into the blinding snow. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. I like people, but they do, you do bog down. You like people? I do like people because we can do more actions, and uh, I like doing more things. But they cost us so much in the end, it's probably better to, to keep they, a... They die, and if you've created an emotional... Like, if you've named the people that you have... Oh, I never name them, the especially not the children. emotional connection that you have... <laughs> <laughs> Never Just name the kids. Child for child, don't even, Not even say that far. you with the ugly face. No, that's too and far. And like seven of them. No, come you'll feel you. bad about the ugly face. The one. Ugly face yeah, comments. I don't, don't want to. Uh, maybe. Yeah, you got to keep morale high. Drippy nose, come here. They, that'd be all the children. Mm, yeah. And if they're wearing their masks properly, you can't see their nose. Sticky hands. Get over here. You don't want sticky hands anywhere near you. No, I never do. Stay away from me, sticky yeah. hands. If anyone wants to really freak West out in the future, just give him honey. Ugh. Uh, loves it. Loves the no, honey. No, I do love honey. Just he don't loves... put it on me. No, trust him. He loves Keep the honey. Away. All right, this handsome guy is going to go on an adventure. Uh, this is an adventure based on... Uh... Go ahead and go in your snowy world. Well, let's go to the ruins. You're right. Neither, the one that neither of us picked. Great. Uh, I, you're not technically supposed to put that down there, but I think it makes us more bonded to him. Right. To know that it's him that's adventuring out. Sure. We're going to stick some wood down here on this card because... Uh, so we remember. He's carrying that with him. Mm -hmm. So we, we know that it exists. It's good. And now he will progress forward based off of the weather track when we, uh, we get to the weather phase of the game. And you know what? He's the only one that's actually going to be warm. Because <laughs> we... Oh. Except for kids. The kids will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't build we did build a beacon though. Snotty face, sticky hands. You know what we're gonna say? We're gonna stand good. up on a we're gonna stand up on a mountain of snow. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell our community, look at the beacon we built. Warm yourself by the light of the beacon. <laughs> Huddle close, people. Come George on. George is out there marching for our and someone yells out, George brought the only fire with him. I'm like, damn it, damn it George, it. come back. <laughs> uh, Alright. Fair enough. All right. Yep. Uh, so that then. I don't know why no one's built an igloo. Our action. Oh, that'd be such a good idea. There's so I'm much really... resource. There's so much resource to build igloos. Yeah. Imagine spoiled people, honestly. Probably also extremely well insulated. So well insulated. So well insulated. I saw Mr. Beast in Antarctica. Did you? Yeah. yeah. One day he got structures built. He had tents too. But one day he hmm. dug a wall hmm. to protect him from you gotta the wind. Got to be careful about walls. Um, all all right. right. So that is all of our action phase. So wonderful. We we did all of our, our current actions available. So now we've gone through that. We're gonna hit next phase, which brings dusk us phase. to dun 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 dusk. So we're gonna resolve our scenario events and uh, go to dusks. So there we go. Grab that top card and let's uh, let's see Which what happens. Top card? This one or this the one? one that's uh, face down. The one that's face down. Yeah. I prefer not to grab cards that are face down. The inevitable is going to happen. Mm. Every day we fight uh, a bitter struggle against hunger, cold, and disease. There will be losses. Flip every sickness marker on its skull side to its syringe side. For each corpse you have, gain one sick citizen. So we have one corpse, so we're gonna gain a sick citizen, but we have to flip all of these onto their- Yeah, from their skull side onto their syringe side. Oh, which we're, we're good. We'd kill them. We're not flipping anything at the Yay, moment. Yay, we're good. There's no death happening. So the do, inevitable is not really that evitable. We, well, it will be in, uh, eventually evitable. Eventually evitable? Yeah. Okay. We do gain a sick citizen though, right? Yeah, we do gain one sick citizen. Are we just gonna pop up a generic worker sure. sick here? That's fine. Going from one to two? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this goes into our we will reshuffle this eventually deck. Correct. Now what? Uh, now we're finished with the dusk phase, so we're going into the hunger phase. I love that phase. So during this, we're going to decrease our hunger by spending food as much as possible. Currently, 
uh, we have to look at how many people our, our current hunger is at zero, right? Like yeah. that's where we're at. Well, so no, we're at zero. We have to judge based off of the amount of people that we have, I believe. Right. So after spending your food, check your hunger level if it's between one and four. So here, we'll pull this over here and we can talk about it together because this is one of those interesting things. We're going to decrease our hunger by spending food. So at the start of this phase, if your hunger level is one or more, but see, we have zero hunger level right now because it's okay. the very beginning. People just got here. They already had a snack. They're fine. Okay. And then at the end of this phase is where we're going to set based off of either citizens, engineers, or children. Correct. And that's what's going to then start decreasing our food from this point forward. Yeah, because basically we're going to be resolving kind of that right now. So um, now we're going to check our hunger level if it's between 1 and 24. Mm -hmm. We're good. Um, and then we're going to go feed our citizens as indicated by the current round. So round one, we have to feed all the dumb kids. So currently we have, we have eight, eight children. Yep. So we've got to reduce our, our hunger, reduce our food, our food by go eight. down. Yep. To uh, six food left. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, now we're we're still good because our hunger is satiated. Okay. So we're we're good to go there. Great. Uh, that that's good. I feel good about that. I feel like you know we saved the kids. We did a good job taking care of our own people. I feel like the kids are eating a lot. They are eating a lot, which is why I told you we should put them to work, but you don't ever want to put kids to work. I feel like that's a that's a miss. Yeah. But we are making sure they're warm. All right, so what it's are we okay. doing now? So now we're doing the night phase, which is return the spent citizen tokens and meeples. So currently we're going to put uh, people back, and we need to lay those meeples down in their occupied beds. So the only people who are going back wow. to somewhere with a bed are the children, which is great. And um, there's already there's too many of them. Yeah, so each one who is not in a bed Yeah, so that's going to be sick. this guy. Yeah, so well, that's... I'm not going to lay him down. I'm just going to have him standing out in the uh, freezing that's, cold. That's two. Yeah, he's... Yeah. he's you want to pull them from the board here? Yeah, so... The children are... Here's another... Uh, some more blue people. In beds, though. Um, we've got a... We've got a, a, a another worker here and another worker here. We should have given them shelter. We really should have thought about that. It's almost as if someone said something about... Okay, so they're going to get sick. Yep. So that means we're going to have four... Four uh, sick workers. Yep. We're gonna have three sick engineers. Okay. And uh, no sick kids. None. Not not a sick the, kid with in sick sight. Kids. Uh, except one. Little twisted. Pulled off the head of a rat recently. We're gonna have mm. a town meeting about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably here. So it's sick in a different way. So. And so can you blame them? It's a hard life. It is a hard life. Uh, being locked inside that building all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just looking for food. <laughs> He's eating rat tails. I mean, come on. Hey, it's got what protein. To do? Not much. Uh, we shouldn't have had to feed that kid. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Rats. Right. Yeah, I vote house rule. One kid feeds himself. Yeah. And it's it's usually the the strongest one, right? Strongest one feeds himself. Strongest one feeds himself. Because you're he, like you're good enough. If it's the strongest one, he also probably takes pity on at least one of the other kids. Maybe. Maybe. Or he, he eats takes one of the other kids, food. so we kill him immediately. Also true. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. continue. All right. So this is the dawn phase. Uh, we've now moved, made it to round two. Congratulations, everyone. We've made it to round two. We didn't die yet. Um, that's a good thing. So we're going to pass the leadership marker, which it doesn't really matter for us. We don't really care. Uh, we are going to move the round marker. Ow. It's a nice meeple on a bridge talking to people. I passed it. Thanks. You're welcome. So good for you. Uh, now we're going to move the round marker, which is this guy right here. Move into round dos. Uh, that's the most Spanish I know. And then we're going to resolve uh, the development and scenario trigger tokens. There are none currently, uh, so we're 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 good. That's the death and the research at round four and five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna die soon. It's fine. Um, great. So now we're going to reveal and resolve a morning card. So excited about morning cards. This is where you cry, usually. Okay, worker, worker safety. safety. OSHA is still out here, in case you didn't know. So All never citizens are concerned about the poor working conditions and the lack of society social standards. So safety either standards, not safety. society or social. Yeah, I either. mean, it, you said it with confidence. That's I did all that both. Uh, we must provide safe working conditions by protecting or preventing accidents. Our engineers will take great care of this, so we can spend uh, a one engineer token to the supply. Or, uh, there's no time for this now. We must work as fast as possible without worrying about potential losses. Uh, we will add a discontent and we will add a dusk card for doing so. So do we spend a whole engineer's action to prevent more discontent? 
Our discontent's kind of low, but if we add six, that puts us halfway. Because if we get to six, game over. Yeah. Um, but you know, in the past, we've been we've been holding people's hands too much. I disagree. I fully think that we place a spend an engineer token down, uh -huh. use one of our engineers just to placate that. Uh, and continue on with because we have a lot like we have a good healthy amount of resources. We have some we have some stuff down. Yeah, we're doing okay. Okay, I can uh, we can do that. Just when we get to the end and we have to start uh, doing some discontent and making some hard choices. Eventually, we're gonna have to make some hard choices. I but mean, you're now saying it's, it's too early to make hard choices at this point. It's not the time to like piss off everyone. But if we're gonna piss them off later, they're already angry. Is the problem? Yeah. So if we longer, piss them off now, no, you let them. Then we get them used to being pissed off. No. And it makes it harder to piss them off in the future. No, 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 no. no. It's Schrodinger's theory of anger management. You put them in a <laughs> I wasn't small aware box. His cat had no. Out. You put them in a small box. You close the door. Okay. The person inside could like you. Could. Or could be upset with you. Could. And you don't know till you've opened that door. I'm never. What opening I'm that advocating door. for is not opening that door. <laughs> okay. All right, fine. We won't open the door. So that means that we will place that one spin engineer token yep. in the supply. It's going to go here. Great. And we've got to, well, I mean, technically we need to workers and stuff, but we're, we're going to lock off an engineer on top of that token. Right. Okay. Um, oh, should have done the morning. There we go. Something happened to undid. There we go. All right, next. The generator phase. We get to drop coal. So good. So we're gonna fuel our generator. Currently, we are at three. So we are gonna drop three coal inside. And it is your responsibility not to drop them that high because they will actually fall to the bottom. They're probably gonna fall to the bottom no matter what we do at this point. That definitely went all the way down. Oh, that one might've stayed. <laughs> that one <laughs> did that count? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, and now they both fell. Both they all went down to the bottom. Probably yeah, just showing off. Uh, so I'm we're testing the. You're right. We should we should drop them more. Uh, mm -hmm. Close. Um, so we're going to gain our six citizens based on the heat and cold markers. Currently, we don't have anybody that uh, would have been in that zone, right? So we're good there. Pretty sure. Yeah. Um, Let's double check the rules. That's the good thing about here. For each icon depicted on the heat track between the cold marker and the heat marker, move the corresponding sickness marker one step forward. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're okay. Closed, we closed the gap enough. We closed the gap. We're good. Um, now we're going to drop coal, which we did. And now we place any cubes from the drawer into the stress track. So, Jesse, open that up. And for the record, if you open it up and cubes fall, guess what? They count. Um, hey, there's only two. Nice. So this would be that time when having that other one there is pretty good. Oh, uh, never mind. We're good. We are filling up our furnace. Filling up the furnace. So uh, we, we reduced the uh, information down here to zero. So we got our generator reset. So it's ready to go for the next round. It didn't break down because if it broke down, then we would have had filled in the entire area over here uh, with uh, 10 cubes. And then it breaks down. We have one more opportunity to use it one more time. If it gets to another 10, it, it completely explodes and we all die. Uh, so, so far, we're only at two. Doing great. I feel pretty good about yeah. that. It's way better than normal. Uh, okay, so our... Uh, our area is done here. Yep. Now we go to the next phase. We're on phase four, which is the weather phase. So we reveal a weather card. Here is our weather card. So our weather card, oops, our weather card says that we're going to increase the temperature. Or I guess is that? Would you call? Did you call it increase the temperature or decrease? Like once it's negative, is it is it increasing good, it to a, a lower it's a good negative? Question. I think it is. I think it has to be decrease the temperature. Yeah. So it's decrease the temperature. It's by increasing the way. it on the board, but it right. is decreasing the total temperature outside. Fair. Okay. Uh, we're going to increase. Although no, technically, once you get below zero, you now just go up in number. Right. So you are. It's. It's. You're increasing a negative. Right. You are increasing a negative, which yeah. verbally, I think you could still say increasing it's getting warmer outside. I don't think you can say it's getting warmer what? because then it would have to be a lower negative number. No, that's the same as increase, though, right? No, that's. I use increase and warmth interchangeably. You like my salary is really heating up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll give you that. Uh, so we're going to increase our yellow, moving it up one. We're going to increase our orange, moving it up one. But the good news is, red stays the same. Is that, I mean, 
Is that good news? It's good news. Because now it's negligible news. Red's the least important building site. But what I'm just saying is it doesn't matter. We don't even have to get it. It's anything basically up. always warm. It is basically warm. It's, it's it's good warm. Red is like a hand knit blanket from your grandmother. Hand-knit blanket from your grandmother. You can always feel gingerbread cookies baked into it. You can smell Actually it noodle. as well. You know, it's like old books. Old books and and they talcum smell powder. like mold. Could be. I mean, honestly, that's, that's usually, probably what it is. Yeah. usually what it is. It's like damp, mildewy mold. Yeah, but if you like that. If you like that. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to gain two uh, food now because, because we have, we a, have hunter's a, hut? We have a hunter's hut and we have this. So that gives us two, uh, two green symbols. So we're good. Moving up to eight over here on the food track. All right. And now our expedition area, uh, Larry there. Um, One, two, two and three. three. He... Amazing. He can stop and check here. He can. And I, I kind of think he should. Or he could just keep going, which is just not, it's not going to move him. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he's, he's already at the end. Yeah, he's already at the, the top here. Mm -hmm. uh, if he had gotten, let's say, 17, right. he could have just continued journeying through. He could have. By his way, his name is uh, Dave. Barry? Yeah, it's literally Dave. Michael. It's, no, it's Nathan. He has a name. Thomas. Name is Dave. Super. We're gonna we're gonna check this location. Okay. Uh, I like gathering as many resources as possible. I think it's a good thing to do. Ooh, flavor text. Mm, lots of flavor text. Overcoming a steep ridge, we saw what looked like an abandoned mine. Mm -hmm. Some people were standing in the entrance. Suddenly, we heard a loud crack and felt a quake. And a dust cloud came out of the tunnel. The people at the entrance rushed inside. We can either join them and help look for survivors, or wait and take whomever is left alive back with us. So the options here, uh, gather a few survivors, gain three workers, or rush to help them, uh, plus one hope, gain four workers and two engineers, gain one sick worker and one sick engineer. I really like that bottom option. Yeah, I do. That too. bottom option is full of people. Yep. I completely agree with you. And it gives you one hope. Yeah, which is a mechanic we haven't shown yet and is... It's very nice. To you. So, is yeah. Uh, uh, but all of these go back, don't they? they uh, all yeah, return. You're, you're yeah. not, not going to be. No, you could carry. You could. You could either return or you could carry on to B. Hmm. That's what the little thing there, I believe, says. You can go continue to B. Out of yeah, out of curiosity, grab one of those over there so we can showcase uh, something that doesn't show going back. So if they were to flip this over. This says continue on, which is a blue. Oh, you're right. So these are all, we're, they're all going They're all back. returning home. Yep. Mm. So no matter what we do, these but guys are returning. But that means this, this pathway will have a B on it. Correct. Which is where you can go to next. Which is very nice. So mm. we can get that upgraded path to start through, which is really good. But either way, we're going home. So I'd rather go home with... With more people. With four workers. With sick people. Two engineers. Yep. A sick worker and, and a hope. sick engineer. And hope. That one hope is really good. This cycle, we're going to start building med places and we're going to start healing people. We need to really uh, continue healing people, yes. So, so that, that we're going to do that? That's going to be one of the main focuses. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here is the mechanic for this. Um, this is our, uh, our hope board. And because we're gaining a hope, hope is the one here across the bottom, we're going to be pulling a piece from here and we're just going to be adding it uh, onto here on its unfilled uh, side, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this one here, we've added a new one, which I believe is care, uh, and it's fabulous. So now we're, we're good. So okay. we're, we've added an extra hope and that makes me very hopeful. No. Good morale? Nope. No? Uh, okay. And he is going to be returning home yep. with four workers. No, 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 no. Four workers on here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, which is only going to give it's us one extra things. worker. Sorry. Yeah. One, two, three, four. four. So, so four workers. Yep, four workers. Good. And two engineers. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't quite get us up. Unfortunately. Uh, and one of them is sick, and one of them is sick. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. Uh, and then this. This just has a B like this now, or yep. is it like this? No, it's just the B. Just like that. All right. Yeah. So we'll continue that storyline. But no, he goes home. Yeah, he's he's back. And we get the wood, too. We get the wood. Yeah. And these, they're just restored back into this area? Yep. Fully warm. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Uh, here we go. So we also have to you finish doing that. our weather. Yep. So we have to finish doing the weather, which is um, we're going to one with the weather winter thing, which I believe means the storm moves up by one. Yep, it's coming to murder us. Yeah, so our, our meteorologist went, hey guys, guys, I think it's closer than we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, fabulous. Uh, preparation phase. Choose an advisor, optional. Resolve sickness markers, effects. Yes, so this would be if we want to use one of our advisors. Do we want to use one of our advisors? We have the health advisor. We do have the health advisor, so we could exhaust a care. Uh, I don't believe we have a care, unfortunately, because we do have a care, which is what this one is, but it is currently exhausted. Yeah, it's not activated. So we, we can't uh, we can't use that one. So unfortunately, not gonna work. Okay. Um, and so resolve our sickness. So we're gonna look at the uh, markers on the population track from lowest to highest, and for each sickness marker, we resolve the effects of that icon. So that means that we are on level two, which so we're gonna flip all of these over that are on level two to their other side. That's less good. Okay, so we've got, uh, we, we've talked about our sicknesses, we flipped our people over, right? We've got, we have our sickness yeah, people yeah. taken care of. Yep, good. All right, Done and we it. don't have sick kids, little uh, snot face and sticky fingers. They're fine. Good. Yep, they're okay. still locked up. Still locked up, good. All right, uh, we've resolved everything here. Great, we don't have to worry about that. Fabulous. Now moving on to the uh, the next phase, which is back to our action phase. Okay. So we probably need to heal people and create homes. And I feel we like wood. we need to think and through coal. what the future and might be. Lots of things. But in application, we really need to worry about the immediate yeah, consequences. We're always of our playing actions. through our last action's failure instead of looking forward to the that's, next thing. That's the issue yeah. with our strategy. So one of the things that is about to happen to us that's going to be very, very bad. People are gonna die. Is the next round after this, when we do the feeding phase, we have to have 20 some things of food. And we can't let our hunger get up that high. Holy so we cow. really need to start looking at how to Holy get more cow. food. Um, okay. In the, in the very, very near future. All right, but before that, we need to pay attention to the fact that People, people are, are, sick. are sick and going to freeze to death. I'm kind of okay with people being sick because uh, we need some of them to die. Uh, because if we some don't of want, them no, die... We lose workers. Yeah, but we also don't have to feed them. I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't... It's That's not... That's We lose morale. That is a mm. sure path to death. Is Probably. the death the death of our civilians. Can we get rid of the children quietly without anybody no. knowing? No, we have to no? we have to get some food. So the options we have to actually start generating food mm -hmm. uh, are hunters, huts. Yeah. We have a uh, There's a galley, isn't there? Uh, yeah, there's some cook stations and stuff like that, but um, those like the field kitchen's one of our specialized buildings. Uh, does the hunter's hut upgrade? Yeah, we could upgrade it to uh, the red side, but uh -huh. in order to do that, if we went out here and took a steel, we could we could actually. One of the great things about steel is that it, it will automatically, if you build it with a hundred percent steel, then it will uh, automatically be the upgraded structure right from the very beginning. So we could theoretically build directly into a upgraded hunter's hut. Correct. Now, how do we? How do we? Is it double the cost to do a upgraded? What is no, the, it just, what's if the you, cost? It's just without one. without the steel. What's the cost for a one upgraded wood. version? Oh, it would be with, two wood. It'd yeah. be two wood, right? Yeah. I believe that would be two build actions. Yeah. I don't mind the idea of using steel, but it's still two actions. It's still it's still taking time. Yeah. It's the action phase of this game that we always that get. Is, uh, this is very boggy. <laughs> that so we always get to the point where we're like, how do we not die? So we definitely need to, one of our actions has to be gather food. One of our actions is gonna be sending out another person on an expedition because it keeps them warm. Yep, so let's just put two people. We also didn't, We okay good, you got that guy there. Uh, so we needed to pull one person out. Let's just send them away to the expedition right away because we know we're gonna do it. Go ahead and start that. Right? Uh, I think we go towards B. I, you know, let me think about it. Is farther better though? Farther's always better. Is it? It's not that far though. It's only, it's, it's literally the same distance. I understand that. I'm saying is farther, farther doesn't mean that the benefits are better. 
usually B's and C's are Let's better. We're going to be going on a journey out to B. We've taken that initial action. We need to start by heating our generator. Let's go ahead and pop uh, three or four. Uh, yellow buildings? We want yellow buildings. Yeah, four. Let's, let's spend four. Four Ouch. coal going down the kiln. So pop Whoa. that up so yeah, we are four. fully warm. Fully warm. Okay. Do we need to be fully warm? I think so, because we're going to be taking more gathering actions as well. Because mm. we get we get wood, we get coal from those. But we if we're doing a gathering, so those are obvious actions oh, too. They're yellow, so like yeah. this yeah. yellow building here, but it's going to give us one, okay. two. We could technically three, get away as long as we're not going too far out. We could get away with just doing three again. Four, because we're heating this outside circle for three. Yeah, if we're not going all the way out here, because we're all also heating with yellow, so we could get away with just three instead of four. I don't hate that. I'll take one. I'll take one coal back. Okay, we'll balance that. Uh, this other gather, this other gathering zone is actually now not uh, useful. Hmm. Because it only so, is going to do the one one coal. Shouldn't have built it. Yeah. Real, real. I mean, it was nice. It, it was, was nice. It was well, nice in the beginning. It was nice for the single round that we had it. Yeah. I think exploration makes sense. I agree. Which is going to be a cold action no matter what. Mm-hmm. And it's going to get us a sick person. It will. And we can't use children for it. And we can't just send children out to do it. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think... Well... Reveal, we can send children. Yeah? Do you have uh, minions to send? Um, snot face, sticky fingers. Yeah. And um, sneak stinky butt. Okay. They all are available, um, and they can perform the remove snow action. Uh, and the good news is, if we're not putting them in a in a cold zone, they're going to stay warm. Anyway. They're going to stay warm. So, because this says perform this action is normal, except if cold, gain two sick children instead of one. And they're going in an area that's not a cold but, action. No, remove snow is always a cold but action. But why would it say on the card that no. it's not a cold some, action? Because some very specific things let it not be a cold action. Remove snow is always a cold action unless you've upgraded very specific things. So I, I think Sticky Fingers you knows to, how to be warm. Yeah, and but our kids can get a little sick. They can get a little. <laughs> we're sick. taking care of them. Yeah. So we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a child action. Okay. Remove snow. This is a cold action. Uh, so it is gaining two sick children. Two sick kids. Not just one, but just one. it's going to save our adults to do the important task of surviving. Thank you, Sticky Fingers. We appreciate your uh, So two your near sacrifice. locations. Yep. I'm leaning towards here. Yeah. So one, two. Yep. Or do we want to switch them? No, I think mean, that's good. You think right there? Yep. You, uh, Sticky Fingers knows what he's doing. All right. First location. Wait, I think those are... No, these came right from here. Right from this pile. Oh, Yo, yeah, you're right. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, I just keep forgetting that those are in there even still. Three wood. Nice. Those are good tiles. One. It's almost as if we had a gathering post to put up there. That'd be... <laughs> two, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> uh, this is two coal. coal. Yeah, and then two trees. I don't like that trees are in the near pile, for the record. That's the second tree pile that we've gotten. But that. if we get the right pool... We could have a really good lumber mill up there in that top area. Yeah. Yeah, but that's true. It's very true. Uh, okay, good. Do we want to use another child? No, you can't, right? You can only use one worker card. Mm -hmm. uh, so each person can only use one yeah, worker we don't, card. We don't have another child to use. Um, They've now seen their friend leave, though. So they understand what's up. Mm -hmm. And they know that it's going to come back on them. We want to gather food, right? We do. Yeah, so okay. we're definitely going to put a person there. Unless we're going to build an advanced one. It's only one extra food. But it's, it's no, but it's more during the actual weather phase because it's another icon. Mm. It's a, yeah, it's another oh, icon. It's a double icon. Uh, is it a double icon? No, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. It yeah, is. it's a double. So yeah. it's a double so icon. So we need to go harvest steel. Okay. Do, we, do we send two people to harvest steel and build two of those? That's in seems, one build. That action. seems very greedy. It might be greedy, however, it could also be very good. We mm -hmm. just are running out of places to put them is the problem. We really only have two locations currently to put you anything. Know, three. One, two, three. Mm. Three build locations, and we could sacrifice a coal if we needed. We also need to heal people. I as well. I mean, a medical hut is going to have to happen as well. And we do have one space behind here, too. 
Next a medical post is gonna cost two wood. If we built it with steel, <sighs> it's very nice. Ooh. Yeah. It's very nice. So here's what I'm thinking. I am thinking we go for two workers to, to collect steel. Okay. Then a build action, mm -hmm. which is gonna allow us to build a upgraded hunter's hut, upgraded medical post. Okay. That And then something else, maybe some rooms, not sure about that. How are we getting that much steel? We, well, we only need two steel, don't we? We need. Oh no, we need enough to build it entirely with steel. Yeah, so we need three steel. <sighs> three people to go? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got three tiles. It's four, technically. Yeah, so three people to go collect steel. Build action, which would get us both of those upgraded. We'd have two people left to and do anything. And then we can heal with one, so we heal four yeah. people. I mean, we might want to enact a policy. Well, yeah, let's see what policies are available. You want to scroll through them? I'll zoom in here. Yeah. You go ahead and... Uh, Okay, so we child labor we can't really do because we've already done other stuff. Um, we do have food Should additives. Should we take this out of the deck? Like, one of them cancels another one. So, for yeah, instance, so this cancels that the other cancels one. LO2 and LO1 cancels. Yeah, so we can, one, we can just like, we'll, we'll say Set we're not going to use it. We can't do Technically, that one. we could, but if we wanted to, we just have to undo. Um, so we have food additives here, which is great. Once per round at the start of the hunger phase, we can spend two food to reduce hunger by 10. I'm more worried about sick people at the moment, less worried about food. Okay. All um, of these adding sawdust to it, by the way. Crowded quarters uh, allows us to, for any sleeping areas that we have, we can increase it by one, but uh, again, we don't have any. Um, <laughs> extended shifts, we make people work harder uh, so we can reuse a building, which is nice. But it does hurt. It is nice. Here's our care house. So we can unlock the care house, which costs two wood to build. Uh, when this law is introduced, you can immediately build the Ooh. care house by paying its cost. And the care house allows us to do what? Uh, the care house is that lovely building there. That is two health plus, looks like, is that three flips? Oh, no, three. That's, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's hope. The hope, yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus three if you if you flip hope, uh, you flip the healing hands the, the mm, thing. So it's yeah. five total if you if you flip the healing hands. That's nice. It gives us no it gives us no death flip. Yes, it doesn't cure. Yeah, or because there's heal and cure. I was back two different things. Two different things. Heal is the thing where it moves them down the track. Cure is the thing where it uh, actually keeps them. It flips keeps the them from dying. Yeah, it stops them from being super sick. Hmm. I like the care house. The care house is very well. nice. Uh, we have heated meals, so whenever uh, you perform the action in a citizen meeple, you can spend two food to count that action as heated. Uh, we have new faith, so we could build the field kitchen, the cemetery, the temple, and the faith keepers. We're not worried about that at the moment. Okay, uh, new order, which would cancel the faith. So these are all the. Uh, the communism potentially. Yeah. Uh, makeshift shelters, so we can ruins. We don't have any ruins right now, so they're not helpful. Uh, we can starve people, and uh, we can do some shared knowledge. I vote in favor of care houses. Care house, it is. That's that's my thought. Uh, unless we no, I mean, I, it, do we want a souped-up medical post or a care house? I almost think a souped-up medical post is more useful for us. To be honest. So let's look at the two together. So care house is going to give us two, and if we flip, we could get uh, we could get five. Uh, a souped up medical post is going to give us four or a token flip. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm I'm leaning towards a beefy medical post yeah and then maybe enacting a law that does something along the lines of maintaining food i think that's a good plan i think that's a very good plan i uh i want to to check this one thing here so we treating is that that word that yeah. we were looking for yeah so we could actually treat someone which would be very yeah, nice you keep them you keep them from immediately dying yeah okay, okay. So what so, policy do we actually want to? Stick I think into place the beefed then? up thing is better. I think you're right. All right. So the actions that we need to consider then are uh, three actions three. to go collect steel. So, yep, because we need three steel to be then able to do that. Then a build action that's going to be giving us a uh, souped up hunter's hut mm -hmm. and a souped up medical post. Mm -hmm. And we still have one more set of resources to build, probably a pretty nice shelter. 
considering mm -hmm. we have five wood off to the side. Yep. That would leave us with two engineers left, which would allow us to go collect food and enact a policy. So, but we don't need to enact a policy. But you can only do one policy per round. So which policy do we want since we're not going to doing care houses? So my thought, if we're not doing care houses, uh, my thought was something like uh, possibly heated meals or uh, food additives. One of those two. If we're investing though in places to actually cook, I almost think heated meals makes the most sense. You may spend two food uh, to count that action as heated. It's just heated on the outside here. I, I don't think that that's It's worth gonna become it. very important when we don't have enough coal to heat everything though. But then we're burning through food. Yes, but if we're investing in good hunting locations early on and maybe a cookhouse soon, mm. we'll be in a position where that is a resource we can actually spend. Okay. Doesn't it like warm food? Warm food in your belly will keep you going for a long time. We could also go to the workshop up here and um, push forward our technology by two spaces. Ooh. And then Which our, I feel our like sleds, a better use. Our sleds would start a little bit farther. Yeah. I feel like that's a better use rather than building the other. Unless we build, technically what we could do is we could build two medical places and then we would have the ability to use them or we could use the medical hut that we build rather than push forward our technology i think healing people is probably important here because we're going to have to flip that over and people are going to die let's let's start not on this okay let's see if we have actions to to do this in the All future right. so let's start with the actions that we know we, we know we're doing okay we're gonna take three people and three go people. up there to three different locations these are outer rim locations. Each one of these actions is cold. That's correct. Uh, do we want... That's three Do we sicknesses. want to heat the outer rim? We have the coal, right? Let's do we it. We have the coal at the moment. So we need to do two more coal. This is like the loudest sirens I've ever heard. Ever in the history of outside. Forever. Two more coal. We're going we're gonna to heat this entire action. I think that mm -hmm. is worthwhile considering how many, how many people we're sending out there. Yep. Uh, that is going to give us the ability to collect three steel. Do I have steel resources here? Yeah, they're the ones that look like little, uh, they're on the other side of the of the steam cores. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Nice. So three steel. We are going to be spending that almost immediately though. Mm -hmm. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take a build action. Yep. What is happening? Apparently OJ is back in his Bronco. Because it is like a street full of alarms. Yeah. Going. Now, there, now there's a honking uh, it sounds like fire truck. Yeah, I just acknowledge it because my mic is probably picking it up, and probably. they're going, "Is that my sirens, or <laughs> is the house next door burning down in my neighborhood, or is that in Quackalos?" It's almost as bad as that time when the birds were sitting outside, <sighs> and then just for like five minutes straight did nothing yeah. but <clears throat> it was okay. ridiculous. With one steel, we are going to be building a hunter's hut, which is going to immediately Upgrade. soup up to level two. Uh, with, as far out as we can, so I guess there. With to steel, we're going to be building a medical post, which is immediately going to soup up to level two. Yeah. And with five wood, or with four wood, I kind of think we're going to build a house. I think that's a great that's idea. That's for the long term. And unfortunately, we're putting the red building right next to it. Uh, you can do it one we'll layer out. Over here. Yeah, one layer out. Slightly better. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. That was a great build turn. I'm just going to say that was a great build turn. It I was feel basically like we've, we've maximized our opportunities. Our entire round two. So I'm glad so you good. feel really good about it. But we still have two more left. So two more actions. Here's the options of these actions that we can do. Mm -hmm. We could go to a medical post, which mm -hmm. is going to reduce this down, which I think is necessary to keep these from flipping. 100% agree. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going here to this medical position. This is going to reduce them by four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Both of them are now under the automatic flip line. Perfect. Uh, it doesn't mean that we're guaranteed, but we're better than... I mean, we're, we, so to be fair, we are going to have people get sick because they're sitting I, outside. I understand. And they're going to die. I understand. Okay. I'm just saying we're at least closer to not killing everyone. Okay. Yeah. But my, my point is, instead of re reducing them both to just there, we should reduce one way down so that we're only going to lose one person because reducing it directly to the line when they're going to get sick and we're going to end up pushing them past they're we've done really nothing 
I think we should just heal one all the way down. So do a split like that, where engineers are only one engineer is going to get cold. We've got three engineers. One of them is getting cold. Well, if one engineer dies, we don't lose a meeple. If one worker dies, we lose a meeple. So where was this? This was here. Mm -hmm. Let me. I did four, four, right? yep. which was one, two, three, four. Yep. So your, I. I oh, mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we've got to move the engineer because no, no matter what we do, we can't fix that. So move the engineer all the way down. The whole way down. Yeah. Like you're saying, drop the engineer down to the the one space, but the engineer's not like they're not getting super sick super quick. But if we reduce the worker all the way down. They're still gonna die. Yeah, it's negligible. So with this, either or, we just don't do the heal action, because no matter what we do, someone's gonna die. Or we flip. We could. We could just do the flip. We could flip, flip one. Yeah, flip the worker. That means an engineer will die, though. That's okay. We've got, a, we've got a little bit of padding. Right, let's there. try that. We will. We will flip the worker's position. Okay. Now we've got one engineer left. Um. Hmm. Uh, medical post slash infirmary, by the way. That's a medical post I'm at, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, perform this action as normal. You may then spend three food to cure two. Do we want to spend food to knock our engineers down by two? Yeah. I'm good so with that. So let me show this card here. Yeah. If we spend three food right now, we will knock our engineers down by two, which will prevent them from dying as well. Mm -hmm. Theoretically. Potentially. Uh, okay, so I will have used this card to take this action, so this card Great. is going to be out of the game. Uh, one, two, three food down, one, two, cure. Great. That gets them below the bottom line as well. And then hit the Hunter's Hut? Or do we push the technology forward by two? Or do we enact a policy? You're not a fan of warm meals. I'm not, because it'll it hurts our... it adds discontent. So Warm meals adds discontent? Yeah, because... no, warm meals is dumb. Heated meals. It keeps done. people warm. Unnecessary. We don't have enough food to start with. Whenever you perform an action with a citizen meeple, you may spend two food to count that action as heated. Two food that we're just going to throw to the wind. No. Uh, I say if we're going to if we're going to not get food this turn, because again, don't forget, we're about to need twenty six food, and if we get to twenty five hunger, yeah, we're dead. I understand. Um, we could enact this. And it would happen next round. All right, let's try it. Let's try it. I'll give it to you. Okay. He's going to be going to the uh, research building there. We're going to be pushing that track forward by two. Yep. Which is going to put us in a position where that will start up next round. That is, I believe, all of Ooh. our actions. Yes. That was a good round. I feel like we, we maximized that round. It was a, it was that was a, a very, good potential. It was a very hungry round. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right, uh, we performed all of our actions. Now we're going to the dusk phase. Grab a card. I Mon don't senior. want to grab a card. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, child education, bright minds. Uh, after uh, receiving intense courses and on-site training from our engineers, the young apprentices helped to progress our technology research significantly. Their bright ideas and enthusiasm found fertile ground. If the child shelter is built, which it is, go ahead and choose one. What are options there? Uh, we could move the development token one space backward on the round track. Um, the development token one space backwards on the round track. Okay. Or, so that means we're, we're bringing it closer, right? Right. Okay. Uh, or we can upgrade a small building by paying its upgrade oh. cost, even if that building has been used this round. Small building. We could turn the hunter's hut it's, it's a cost of an additional wood, right? Oh, yeah, we have to pay its upgrade cost. I don't mind that, though. Yeah, because there's only one wood, right? We have one wood left. Dude. We can turn that hunter's hut into a level two and Done. start getting food, which means warm meals is now more important than ever. Yep. No, it's not. <laughs> it just means that we won't potentially starve as quickly. So let's do that. Let's yeah. uh, toss out this and flip this hunter's hut over to a uh, secondary level. Great. Nice. Um, so this gets removed, and I need to go ahead and grab you a, a few more little clips. We've got a hunter's hut, 
Yep. I'll find a med post over here. All right, you continue progressing things. I'm gonna grab our minis. All right, so we're doing, we, we, we're at the hunger phase, and I feel like we're messing something up, Jesse, because we're not dying everyone's, everyone's so fed quickly. Immediately. We, we have no hunger, because we're doing such a good job right now. Don't worry, we're about to have hunger. We're about to add a lot of hunger. Uh, so we're currently looking at our engineers, so we've got to add the amount of, we have to feed all of the engineers, and right now we have 14 engineers. Mm. How many engineers can we feed? Five. Oh, that's less good. So now we need to increase uh, 14 minus 5, which would be 9. So our hunger is now currently at 9. Okay, great. I feel really good about that. Less, less good about that. Um, okay, and now we're going to go to our next phase. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to do the night phase. So we return all of our spent citizen meeples. So everybody who is outside and not in a hut because we didn't... Some of them are in, in huts. So give me the two engineers back. Yeah, two engineers. Two, I'm okay. going to lay them down. So my little people are going to lay down. My engineers are going to lay down because they are all cared for. Everyone else is standing tall. Yeah. You're staying out there. You're standing up. Uh, go ahead and give me the other so, workers here. So why were those guys? Because okay. they were in the house. We have a house. Were they in the They were we, here. We know. You, you, they, you assign them to oh, right. where I they're sleeping. Guys. Yeah, yeah. It's gotcha. how houses work, West. I forgot. I understand yeah. you work in one. I was like, wait, so you're, you're like in a... What? Yeah. Now I gotcha. Yeah, so you're putting the engineers yeah. in the house, so they're fine, but now all of our workers yep. in one engineer... So that means we're so going great. to have uh, one engineer gets colder, uh -huh. and four workers get colder. Great. Okay. Um, good plan. So now we're going to... Uh, Which... Uh, we probably need to do the consequence of the. Right? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Not yet. Okay, so we passed the leadership marker. Woohoo! You gonna throw it at me again? Please don't throw it at me again. I don't want to. I was thinking about it. I don't want to. It's not not so good. Too much, too much, too much chaos. Don't do that, Jesse. Okay, uh, so we're doing the dawn phase. Uh, now we're uh, moving the round marker. Hey, guess what? We'll leave it up there. It's, <laughs> it's so far. Go, go, gadget arms. I got it. Okay. Um, so now we have our lighter scout sleds. So whenever we deploy scouts to an expedition or we continue an expedition, we move the scout one space forward. I appreciate that. Um, and I believe at this moment, we can then add and decide which is the next one that we can do. We can immediately start researching another thing? I do believe so, yes. Okay, do you wanna go ahead and uh, pull those over and let us know what we're looking at? Yes, so we have, again, our generator system, which will allow us uh, to, whenever we use the generator building, we can remove an additional um, thing. So we go from five to six, which is very nice. Uh, or we can use the hunting tactics, which gain us an additional Ooh. food for every two. So these would be worth three each, which would be very I nice. I actually like that. Um, or we have the medical one, which is uh, you can treat to instead of its normal effect. So for this, oh. we're actually flipping over two, which is amazing. Wow, there's, there's two really good things there. Yeah. Do we double down on food, knowing that we're going to have a food deficit soon? Well, it, the food deficit is going to happen before we get to it, but there's nothing to stop that one. It's probably going to go two rounds before we get to that, unless we use the workshop. I, I mean, we could use the workshop, and potentially we could, yeah. It's still not going to hit fast It enough. won't, will it? But I think this is amazing. Yeah, let's do the medical technology. Yeah. Let's start investing in that for the future. Okay, medical technology it is. All right, and that one is a five. So one, two, three, four, and five, same time as the storm. Okay. Great. Um, wonderful. Now, moving back over here, we have morning, morning phase. phase. Reveal and resolve a morning card, uh, which is over here. Young adepts. Some of our teenagers prove to be very capable of learning. We could afford to spend some time to train them in an effective workforce. So these are the kids that you don't like, kind of, you know, maturing a little bit. I'm, I'm not upset about that. All right, go ahead. What, what is this, uh, so what is we can uh, send engineers to teach them. So we can place this card on the event display. Each uh, place one child engineer meeple on this card. Place one spent engineer token on the supply and add uh, the 
a special card to the dust deck, which sounds like we'll eventually get a child engineer. I love this idea. I love this idea. Interesting. Um, send workers to teach them. Uh, so we would basically get a child worker, um, which again, we need to start teaching our children the uh, value of an honest day's work. So do we want a child worker or a child engineer? Child engineer. Yeah, I agree. Engineers are always better. I agree. Let's do that. Um, or we could just say, <laughs> forget <laughs> just it and just lose it. a hope. No, we're not going to do that. I agree. Um, so yeah. So ugh, why does it keep messing that up? There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's do... Uh, in the, with this particular card, it says that we're going to place this card in the event display, which means that it will be one of the cards that we have to look at every single time for the event display, so we'll just leave it here. Okay. Um, we're going to take a regular engineer, spend them, and then we're going to get uh, the D31. Oh, those are law cards. D31. There you go. Okay. This is, is this going up into this area? Uh, yeah, that's going to get shuffled into that deck. Yep. Into the deck of two. So shuffle it good. Yeah, go ahead and break it. You don't know which ones are which. We'll cut it. All right, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then uh, give me one of those uh, blue child meeples over there by the, uh, the thing. Yep, perfect. A tiny little blue kid. Yep. So now this engineer... Uh, we also have to put an engineer in the event. Wait, one spinch engineer token in the supply. So we have to spend yep. an engineer this time. Another one of these. Correct. Okay. All right. That's fabulous. And now we have the generator phase. Because we were here in the morning phase. We resolved the morning card. Now we're going to the generator phase. So fuel the generator. We are at four. I need uh, little cubes. Yes, four cubes. One, two, three, four. I feel it sounds like all of them. I think three. We need uh, we need the upgrade piece mm -hmm. uh, immediately. Yeah, I agree. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, we now we're gonna look at uh, gaining the citizens based on our heat and cold markers. So we have uh, six gain six citizens. So we. Um, we need to do resolve that those markers, so we need to flip over the children, huh? Oh, sorry, no, flip over the workers. I mean, yeah, these flip. Yep, that's, that's it. fine. That's not bad. Uh, don't we lose? Do we lose the use of one of them though? Uh, we do lose a a worker. Yeah, he's got the flu. Yeah. So okay. Now uh, we've dropped our coal because we got aggressive with that, but we're not going to do it twice, which is also very good. And now we're going to uh, place any cubes in the drawer into the stress track. So gently pulling it out. You've got three. Was it all of them? Ooh, and the one that we it was. Lost it was every one of them. Yes. It was so every we're at, possible. We're one at of them. five now. Perfect. Great. One, two, three, four, and one extra for good luck. We we'll probably need to spend a. Uh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. We've got food yeah. and medical and warmth to worry about to start with. That right. we can let it rupture at least once before we're concerned about it. Okay, so now we're going to drop our heat marker all the way back down. Great, and now we're going to go to the next phase, which is the weather phase. So we're going to reveal a weather card. Our weather card says temperature goes up down again then we've got our yellow one goes up our orange one goes up and so does the red Whew, it's getting expensive uh, one we food get per yeah so we get a total of four food because we've got two here two, two here there. yep uh so one two three four and our expedition goes four so, wrong track one two three four thank you one two so three, just reduce four. the hunger by four uh fair enough yep one two three four perfect I guess technically it's not how you do it. Yeah, one, I suppose two, leave three, that and then four. just gain yourself four one, food. One, two, three, four. Yep. Because then we wouldn't have food to spend on your special hunger yeah, 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 yeah. games thing you're doing. All right, and uh, so we're gonna go four on our expedition phase. Ooh, so now we have a very crucial decision. Mm -hmm. Do we move? Because this is gonna be three up to get to the top of B. Right. Do we just like sprint forward and skip this location? Okay. Or do we stop and search with the risk of being turned around? and then carry resources with us farther. 
So I think the thing that we've got going for us is that we have our uh, lighter scout sleds, What's which will allow do? us to move one space forward when we continue uh, an expedition. So, okay. but we'd have to actually stop. So if, if we're we... stopping and then carrying on, as opposed to just skipping it, right? We'll be able to uh, progress on to sea. We would roughly be the same distance. What if it tells us we're not allowed to go on? I mean, there's that the chance. The last card literally did that. It did, it did. It told us we weren't allowed to do that. So it's possible that that could happen, but I think, grand scheme, if by checking this, we also get to get those rewards. Okay. If we skipped, then we wouldn't get the rewards from B. So count them. One, two, two three. three. We have one left. We are risking not using that. Right. Uh, but our sled is actually gonna, is gonna help us here. So uh, let's see what this uh, sends us to do. Uh, I see two different symbols already. Oh, already. Good. So good. Uh, Fool's Gold. The overturned barge was the overturned barge was trapped between two ice blocks. It revealed its torn belly to us, a sad sight to lay eyes on. Inside, we saw uh, luxurious interiors and fortune and a fortune of things no longer considered desirable. In the guts of the vessel, we found a treasure we hoped for: coal, a source of heat in this age of frost. We could. Uh, carry the prize back to home, gain four coal, or the hunt continues, gain four coal. I say we gain four coal, but continue the hunt. Okay, so I'll place four coal yep. next to our board here. Great. This is going to continue on, Yep. Uh, which was like this, which means C is going to be placed down. Now, if we didn't have the sled, right. we'd be right here. Correct. That would end our mission. You cannot continue forward. Exactly. Because we have the sled, we get to move. We one kind space. of get to use the fourth slot that we have, which is amazing to push forward here onto C. Uh, so it's pretty good. Cool. I'm happy with that. All right, we're continuing forward. Jesse, we haven't died yet. We haven't died. We yet. haven't died yet. You're right. I'm very excited. But we have about no this. idea what end game strategy looks we're like. We're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Okay. So, uh, we... Oh, it keeps going backwards. No! The do not end game. Okay. Um, I keep touching it because yeah, I'm yeah. moving it. You've got thick fingers. I have very thick fingers. Uh, so we choose our advisor. Uh, are we going to do any of these special actions? I don't think we have the I don't think we have the hope to spend. We definitely don't have any hope. I agree. Um, I mean, mine technically takes motivation, but I, I still, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine takes cure, which we don't own, so yep. we're, we're good. Uh, we already resolved the sickness effects because we, I guess, did that a little bit earlier. Uh, adjust. So now we're doing the action phase. So we look at our uh, meeples, make sure we still have the correct amounts, which I believe we do. No one died this time. Yeah, so we're good. And then uh, close. We, we place our uh, spent meeples on those blocks so that we don't use them, and then yeah. we can take our actions. All right, we've got a few spent. Now, I kind of desperately want to set out another exploration, which we can do as soon as we upgrade our beacon, but I, I don't think we're going to be doing that soon. Um, You're immediately pulling the children out? I found out that this one's name, uh, that this was uh, Stinky Butt. Yeah. Uh, actually named Corey. 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 Oh, yeah. Good name. Um, smelly Fingers here is, is still Smelly Fingers. Yeah. I, it, he's too gross. What are you Can't doing with the children? Um, so we have the option here to reveal three far tiles and place each on either the top or bottom of the far tile stack, so at least we can see what they are. I love that, considering we can control for trees up here in this top location. That's That actually could be very convenient when we decide to go exploring far. Yeah, the other option is that we can uh, do a remove snow action, but do it as normal, but only get to place one near tile. But we get a kid to do it instead we need to do i think we need to do a few near tiles because we're running out of low zones to build stuff on agreed or we just need to do some resource collection i mean we we probably need to fuel the generator as well but um yeah <laughs> we only have two coal yeah that at least uh two coal actually doesn't yeah get us let's where we need to go let's it's go ahead and spend two coal action uh so push it up by two Yep, still a cold action. I understand. Uh, although, this uh, this ring is still a cold action. Well, the, anything red is not, so we could gather... What about that. yellow? No, yellow's still Yellow is the worst. It's almost like we could go gather food and then we do a warm meal action. Hmm. Is that what you think we should do? <laughs> no. But if we had that option, it'd be very nice. It might be. Oh, man. The children get a little more sick. The children can get more sick. So let's... 
We need resources. Mm-hmm. We need resources. Right away, we need resources. Yeah. So we can make a worker get sick by giving some coal, because then everything else one. is fine. <coughs> that gathering hut is not going to help. The other one would get us a wood and a... I mean, I vote we place a worker right down here. And grab those two. Take a cold action. That's going to move him up immediately. Yep. By one. And we're going to grab these two coal, which we're going to chuck directly into the furnace. Mm -hmm. To make everything else a little bit more warm. Bloop, bloop. So now all of our orange buildings are warm and anything in the first circle is <sighs> good. Okay. The children are going to be warm and that's all I care about. Really? Yes. Okay. Of course. Good. Uh, the, the, so the which risk child are we going to push out there to go um, get some stuff? Are we pushing a child out there to go do some stuff? I mean, now it's a near action, so it really doesn't matter. So this one here... But searching, digging in the snow is always a cold action. But what I'm saying is... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can pretend that it's warm. It's not. It's They're not going to pee be warm. in their pants anyway and be plenty it's warm. It's going to freeze. Hmm. Fine. But a kid, you just said earlier, a kid could get sick. That's what I heard you say. Yeah, I'm, I, mean, I mean, I'm not opposed to. Let's do the one that's going to give us a single tile. Okay, so we're doing a near action. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to lay down a kid in this cold location. Yeah. Uh, does it say that it, they place one tile instead of getting two sick? So. Yeah. Sick up by one. Yep. We need to place one tile down. Where are you thinking of putting this tile? Uh, let's put it here next to the hut so that we can hear him cry. Okay. Oh, it's a terrible time. Three, three woods three right down wood. here in this location. Three, three woods. Perfect. Wood. Just what you were looking for, right? Yep. But A, it does give us an open spot. Yeah. I guess that is technically a good thing. The truth. Yeah. We only have uh, four people left. Yeah. So let's think through what we desperately need to do. Yeah. We're going to have a food deficit. We uh, could mitigate the food deficit by taking two full actions to gain 10 total food. Yeah. That's probably not a bad idea, and we should probably flip that worker token over. So you're saying food, food, heal. Mm hmm. And then what? <laughs> One other really good action. Oh, man. Oh, this is where this is where it starts getting this ahead of is, us. This is where we're getting in trouble. Um, if we if we push forward, here's hear me out. Yep. We can use the technology shop and push it forward two spaces up to to round six, and then the next round we could do it again, and then we'll end up being able to cure people faster. So we use one engineer for that. One we, engineer we are, for this. We are going to be in a severe state of emergency next round. Yeah. Because we are going to have no wood, no coal. Right. Our hope is that this person might come home. Yeah. Bringing four coal with them. Are we going to bank on our expedition going going to plan? You know, they've been gone for a really long time. And while uh, Samuel is not doing the greatest at uh, finding his way, he does generally okay. find his way home. So focus on staying alive today so that our... So that tomorrow we can not die. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah. All right, so action at the hut. Yeah. Action at the hut. Perfect. That is going to be 10, ten food. Food. So uh, 14. 14. That is barely That's enough. Good. Uh, then we're going to take a action at... The medical hut. Yeah. And let's let's think through this. Yeah. This is on death's door. Yeah. Uh, this is on death's door. Yeah. Losing this loses us a worker. Much worse, yeah. We don't really want to lose a worker. Right. But presumably we are finding more people up here. Maybe. It's possible. We also could find more sick. We could flip one of these. Mm-hmm. Or we could reduce this one down by four. Mm-hmm. Or we could flip this one. Mm. So losing an engineer doesn't lose this amiibo. Yeah. Reducing this by four doesn't necessarily save the day. Agreed. Flipping it would, but it would continue escalating uh, to a pretty to a pretty nasty point of. Yeah. So if we reduce it, we're we're if we reduce it without flipping it, we are going to end up. Someone will die. Because it's going to be flipping twice. Yeah. Well, no. If we, if we reduce it without flipping it, 
someone will die. Right. But if we just flip it, it will move up here into this zone where it will flip twice and, and, and someone, someone will, will die. die. And we lose two people. I think we reduce it by four. Yeah, that's the better plan. That's my initial play. Do we have any other healing actions that could be taken? Mm. No. Oh, man. But I do have some good news. What's the good news? Uh, if we put two of the workers into the huts... Oh, no, because we've got one guy sitting over there. Because that's still three, right? Because we've got one, two, and then two. No, if we put two of the workers into huts, then we only go up by two, so we don't cross that. I don't think, I don't think that's how this... This is a warm action. Into, I'm sorry, this house. Oh, into the house. Yeah. I, we could also... We don't have resources to build. Mm. We have nothing to build. True. Um, we could go here and take five off of that because we're about to put four in there oh, and it's going to blow that, that blow up. up as well yeah oh man i think that's where we spend our engineer not moving the medical forward i mean we're gonna blow up i want to move that thing forward we're about to get a medical child all right all right let's put someone here okay and then that is one, two, well, that's technically this spot. Three, four, five. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah. We repair the Yeah, the generator. Repair the zone. Your, yep. Okay. Kay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, that's it. That's that's, that's our that's, that's our that's, actions. That's where we're at. This, wow. That was a That was a little rough. That was a very tight turn. Uh, that was a little rough. Okay. Okay, What's so end of our action phase. Now we're going to the dust phase. Draw Grab a card. It. Let's see what you did to us. Mm hmm So, uh... Oh, it's indecision. Indecision. That's not good. Uh, so here it is. If you have Flavor any... Flavor text. The risk of wrong decision is preferable to the terror of indecision. Perfect. Um, if you have any active hope or discontent, for your most common active token, or if you're tied for the most active token, perform the corresponding effects. So we have one of each for actives. So, okay, if you have any active hope or discontent for your most common active token, or for all tied for the most common. So that means all of our active tokens. We have to mm -hmm. perform the action for all three of these. Uh, and the R. So this here, they have very nice handy sheet here. So the one that is active currently is the anger token, the justice token, and the motivation token. Okay, so anger, motivation, and justice. So, so read for it through. anger, we are looking at for each active anger, gain two six citizens. Two six citizens. Okay. All right, that's a thing. Uh, okay. It's almost like we... So for motivation, we're going to take one resource from the map and place it into the supply. Then for each active motivation, take another. Um, so two, two resources from the map into the supply. We can take one resource from the map and place it in the supply. No, read it a little bit carefully. I, I think I we get a resource it. and then it, we pick up another one. Read it again. Okay, I'll time. read it again. Yeah. So you take one resource from the map we and did you that. place it in your supply. Yes. Done. Grab Great. that. And then... For, for each active motivation, we have one active motivation. You take another resource from the map, uh huh, and you place it in the supply. Yes, it's it's almost as if you take two. For each resource you cannot take, gain one coal. Uh, yeah. So we are we're gonna grab another wood. Yeah. One coal, one wood. That was the right answer. Balance it out. You're right. Uh, all right. Now. We now, need to go uh, down to justice. justice. Yeah, justice. Uh, so and I see you've already preemptively flipped. Yeah, because I want this care so badly. <laughs> so okay. that's what we're going to do. All right. But what it gives you the uh, each for each act of justice, exhaust one discontent, or we can activate a hope. I would much rather have another hope. Cool. Activate Because it, it works with your ability. You might actually be able to cure some people. Yep, we can cure two, which is very helpful. All right, now this card has uh, this little red symbol up here in the corner. 
which means this leaves and we get to take a look at yes. the next thing that's coming out, which is fear. Uh, you want to go ahead and establish the flavor text? Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Suffering leads to sticky-handed children. Ooh. Uh, if you have more active hope than active discontent... We don't resolve it yet. But I know, I'm just say saying what it you're is. You're knowing what it is. Yep. Yeah, so uh, we would get to remove up to four stress cubes, Okay. which is nice. Uh, we could also gain food equal to the round number. So we want more hope than discontent. Definitely. And otherwise, bad things happen. Bad things. Very, very Perfect. bad things. So this is going to get shuffled into here. I will let you... I will blindly mix them. And then I'll let you blindly mix them for uh, an even bid. Okay. And then one does flip here, so we will get to know what is coming. An argument could be coming up. Okay. So when that next one gets pulled, we can get a uh, sense of what might next be on the horizon. Excellent. And uh, uh, wait, we also need to shuffle in all those because we we should have taken everything from the discard and put it all together. When we activate the yeah, when we activate the other one. Yep. I hear. All right. Everything come here. That is correct. Oh, okay. Where are we now? Uh, so now we are uh, finished with our dusk phase. Great. And now we're going to go into the hunger phase. Not unlike hunger games. Uh, we're going to decrease hunger by spending food. So we need to uh, decrease hunger by nine and spend nine food, which will take us down to five, I believe. 14 down to 5, okay. And then we resolve and reset the hunger marker. So now... This is where we want all the hunger. Yeah, so now we have... Uh, we need to feed all of our uh, workers. So okay. we've got 26 workers, and we can feed 5 of them. So, so we have 21 hunger. 21 are still starving. Yeah, Good. and if, if we get 4 more hunger, we done. We can, we can at least... Uh, we can at least get ten. Food. We can get ten. Food. Yeah, and we're gonna so. get some in the in the you know in the morning phase too. So we're gonna get a little bit. We're gonna get uh -huh. a little. Just a little. All right. What now? Uh, and now we are going to move on to the night phase. So we're gonna return the spent citizen tokens and meeples, and lay down okay. our citizen meeples to indicate that they occupy the heated shelters. So we have these. This pops into here. This pops into here. Uh, what are we? Let's go ahead and pull everyone back and then decide yep. who we're putting into shelters, who we're not. We have a total of two shelters, and all of our children will remain warm. Mm -hmm. So, pop over, pop over. We have a guy hiding behind there. Did you leave him? Did you forget he was there? I apparently did. Is that did. an extra worker we could have used? Yeah. Let's have had him just gather so that we have stuff. That's fair. Uh, so let's have had him grab some coal, which will... Put us into a better position this next time. I can't mm -hmm. believe you left a guy out in the snow. I mean, he should to technically be die. Fair. Thematically, he should just expire. We could also have just gotten a uh, a steel a steel instead. But it would have been a cold action, which would have it would screwed everything. It would have changed all this. All I wanted mm -hmm. was a action that was warm. It was warm. Okay, that that's would fair. You know, so the consequences. Uh, okay, so in terms of resting people, yeah, we will be going up one. Ugh. Yep. With the scientists, no matter what. Yep. We will be going up potentially one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And technically, West, uh -huh. I think we should be one colder because of the guy who left in the snow, because he would have been on the board. Yeah. So we should be there. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. If we rest two of them, mm -hmm. we stay under that lip. Okay. I think that makes I sense. I think that's the best place to go. I mean, we're going to we're going to kill two. People are dying. Yeah. This is the round where people die. Yep. Okay, they're going to lay down. Children are going to lay down. They have lovely beds to sleep on. Mhm. Mm and everyone else is going to Why have we not built tents? Because you're con worried about he having heated actions outside the area by spending all of our food. I don't I don't know what's happening. Okay. Yeah. From there, what what now? We're not moving these yet. That happens later. No, it says each without one place gets sick. So we have oh, to we move increase the sick. Yeah. Right. I thought I remember last time it wasn't now. So one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three. So, I mean, we have a chance to heal them, theoretically. <sighs> How? Probably not, because they're going to... What do you mean? Yeah, we're we not don't have a chance We to don't have them. a chance. It's going to flip and they're, they're going to die. die. They're all going to die. Um, you know, death happens. It's a thing. Um, 
Good, now we've got our dawn phase, so uh, pass the leadership marker again. Uh, move the round marker, yay. Hey, guess what? Guess what? It's round four. Okay. And we get to, to do something. So here's our scenario. What are we doing, Jesse? Uh, are we alone? Civiliza civil civilization has fallen. We, the survivors, traveled into a convoy that split into several groups to increase the chances of reaching a functional generator. Our group succeeded. What fate has become of the others? Lighting up a signal to guide the lost souls will help answer that question. So, go ahead and read through round four. If the beacon is built, go to A. Otherwise, go to B. We're on A. The beacon shines bright. Plus one hope or minus one discontent. Reveal and resolve. Minus, plus one hope. So plus one hope means that we would add, yeah. um, a, you know, a, a, an unactivated hope, which is great. Or we could just whoop, get rid of one of these discontents, which is not bad either. I think neutralize the, the discontent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So can, do you think I can take this activated one off? I think you flip it. No, that would be deactivated. Deactivated. This is minus, minus one. one discontent. So I'm I think not I can sure. just take one off. Can you just remove one? I think I can take off an activated one. I'm pretty sure. I'm well, going to take I'll off this activated one. Great. Yep. Uh, round, uh, we have failed. <laughs> we haven't failed. Round 11. All right. So here's the thing, Jesse. I feel like that's just too easy for us to just do that. I feel like we're going to have to take off the stupid deactivated one. I feel like that's probably Yeah, that's what I said. You know, you could just stop being right all the time and and just we could cheat a little. I don't think I don't no. think we're supposed to. All right, fine. Uh so this is round 4. We don't we don't resolve round 11 yet. No, nope. so this pops back up. <sighs> we okay. did good though. We did really good. We're I mean, we're not dying with this. We're dying with that. Um, here we go. Great. So we're gonna uh, move moved our round marker. We resolved uh, the scenario trigger tokens. Fabulous. And now we're going to reveal and resolve the morning card. Morning card. People from our convoy. Two young men reached our city a while ago. The brothers went ahead of a group that should have reached us by now. Their family, friends, all that was left of their lives is somewhere out there. Should we search for them? Ooh. Okay, so show your uh, intent. Send out an expedition. Add D005 to the dusk deck. Ignore this demand, plus one apathy. Equip, equip them and let them seek the group on their own only if you have an active motivation. Lose two workers. Add D006 to the dusk deck. Oh. So we can... We are going to be able to send out another expedition. I think we do. I think the, that's a good plan. I think plan. we do our own expedition because we're going to have an expedition come back, yeah. which means we can actually send out this next one. And that means it does mean we have less workers, obviously, but it also means that no one is getting sick while they're gone. Yep. I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be doing number one. So you're adding D005. Uh huh. D005. Hmm. <laughs> Well, wait. I think it's the other. I think it is. Is it mixed in there? It's a big. It's, the, it's one. the other stack of cards, I think. No, it's a thing. Hold it's on. from the it's to the dusk deck. E it's this deck of cards. Okay. Yeah. D zero zero five. You gotta listen to me on the first time. I don't like listening. <laughs> D zero zero five. Boom. Inserted. Shuffled. Activated. All right. Okay. Great. So that is now gone. Beautiful. And now we have the generator phase. Okay. Fuel the generator. Yeah. So how many? We're gonna drop four. You wanna, you wanna drop them this time? Nope. Well, no. I need your cubes. Good. They're on your four, side. Four. 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 Go. So at least three. Yeah, I think three definitely came through. All right, so now we're gonna gain citizens, uh, six citizens based on the heat and cold markers. We don't gain any there because we're, we already did the gain citizen sick thing, right? Or 
Yeah. No, heat and cold markers. It's the difference between how far we've heated the generator or not heated the generator. What's in the oh, middle of that? Oh, yeah, zone? that's right. We have the uh, one sick child. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now we uh, place any cubes in the drawer. Three? Hmm. That means there's one more balancing in there. We hear it fall right now. <laughs> hey, at least we wait till the next round. Uh, that's good because that would have exploded us, so it's a good thing that we didn't uh, definitely. wait on that. Yep, that was the right play. And now we're going to check it for breakdown. Nope, it doesn't break down. And now we reset the heat marker down to zero. Okay. All right, and now we're going to do the weather phase, which is great. Hey, look at this card. What? Look at this card. It, the we top, already did this card. We did this card, yes, I know. It said we got really excited about getting rid of the discontent, yep. but then there's something else that we probably should be reading. Did I not finish it? No, I think there's uh, more to it there. The beacon shines bright. Plus one hope or minus one disconnect. We did that. Right. Reveal and resolve uh, card uh, SO2. Did we not do that? We did not do that. that um, okay. Yeah, that's why you're That's because that it was in this deck, and I was like, hey, and you were like, no, it's not in the deck. I was, I was like, no, it was not in that deck. Yeah. You're right about that. Um, that's fair. So this one. Flavor text, West. The beacon's light guided refugees scattered across the frozen wastelands to our settlement. Amongst them were the scouts from Winnehome. As it turns out, it is the nearest occupied settlement. However, the news they brought is alarming. They say that no other beacons were lit. Not even the one at Winterhome. What has happened to Winterhome? Uh, place it's SO5. It's gone. Place, place SO5. Winterhome does not exist anymore. Side up. Uh, this. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh, we have a. Uh, That's our another expedition. exploration. Nice. Although, you know, it depends on. Uh, now we have multiple expedition things we want to commit to, so. It says choose A or B below, and it gives us the opportunity to do this, which is let the refugees enter, oh, excuse me. Let the F refugees enter our city. Yep. Which is plus one hope, gain five workers, one engineer, and three children. So a lot of people to care for. More people than I would like to care for to care for. Or send them back to look for another place to live Bless their hearts. Oh, bless their hearts. Uh, which is negative one hope. Aren't you a sweet thing? Yeah, you're just darling. Oh, honey, I do hope you find someplace warm. It's going to be a wonderful trek for you. Look at those mountains. I heard Santa was coming this year. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. You can put that little piece of wood down that you're using as shoes and <laughs> ski the rest of the way down that hill. Oh, good old charming southern hatred. <laughs> the most polite form of fiery rage you'll ever see. That's for sure. Uh, okay, plus one hope, gain five workers, one engineer, and three children. That's clearly what we are doing, Oh, because we are not heartless monsters. We are also about to lose some of those, too, we, so it's we a want good the hope. thing. We want the hope. Yeah, it's a good uh, thing. So, uh, so, we're gonna... Five workers. Is it five? Yeah, five workers. Five workers. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Uh, how many engineers? One. One engineer, that's it? Yep, just And one. how many children? Uh, three. One, two, three. That gives us another child meeple, just what we wanted. Woohoo! Granted, we can keep them safe and warm in our locked, closed, encased shelters of definitely happy-go-lucky balloon animals. We are going to have to find the keys to that because I kind of threw them in a snowbank. I keep shoving bread through the cracks, and I've heard mm. there's mice inside. So mm. as far as it's I'm concerned, there. they're well fed. Yep. Uh, and I did add a, another one here, so we have another care. Awesome. Which is uh, great. really great. Yeah. Okay. okay, now we're doing the weather card. Now we're doing the weather card, which is we're going to increase the temperature. Love that. Decrease the temperature, whatever you want to call it. Love that And we're going to increase the uh, the yellow here. That's... Which is really good. We're going to get four food. Four food. Really living it up now. Super yums. Right, and so we can uh, do the expedition. Okay. And it gives us two. So That's exactly we can, what we need. We can finish off that expedition or... Bloop. Or... Or what? We could... There's no or. We could go up that other we're, expedition. We're not jumping from this to that. I'm just no, saying. we're at. I'm just saying. I'm just saying no. we could. No, we're finishing C. No, we've okay. committed to C. We're finishing C. Okay. Uh, okay. At the threshold, 
The fishing village that we'd stumbled upon was still populated, and its inhabitants are able to fish as the ice, as the ice on this coast is thin enough. It sounds warm. I mean, the ice is thin enough. Everyone should move here. It's so much colder here. It's literally, it's got to be sunny there. So it's the ice is thin enough. In other words, our auger that's 25 feet long can reach the water at the bottom. I mean, they offered to help us by donating surplus fish they have. They have extra fish. How does anyone have surplus? Where is extra fish coming from? Upon closer inspection, it turned out that many of the locals suffer from some weird insomnia and would actually like to leave their... What do you mean they want to leave their village? They've got fish. Accept the gift and never come back. Gain two coal and ten food. Help them escape the lurking danger. Uh, plus one hope. Gain four workers, five engineers, three children, one sick worker, and one sick... No. We are absolutely leaving with the extra fish they're bribing us. Wait a minute. We stumbled upon a village right. that somehow has ice that's thin enough to fish on, right. with fish that are still alive, yeah. with people that are potentially drugged out of their minds and looking for an escape. Right. I'm assuming this is like a cult-like commune of some type. Uh -huh. They're definitely going to die eventually because the weather is getting the weather more frigid. is coming. The ice Winter are freeze. is coming. But whoever is relishing in the lifestyle they've established, this yeah. commune that they have full yeah. of concubines and children, at least, they hand us 10 fish to and just say, go away. don't come back here. Yeah. And we say, thank you. Yeah, because I've, like, honestly, Joe has a wife and, and kids back at home. Yeah, uh, Th this food will help a lot. This food is really, it's going to go a long way, and we can't save everyone. Yeah. So screw the people we don't even have names for yet. Exactly. <laughs> we already have too Holy many children cow. to start with. That's a big, I mean, first off, there's a lot of, there's a lot of lore revealed in that card that uh -huh. I'm reading into. Yeah. And second off, that's actually, that's actually great. Uh, we are getting two coal and ten food, and we're heading our merry way back home. So we already have four coal that we're bringing with us. Two coals coming back as well. We are going to be so warm, and ten food is going to put us all the way up to fourteen. We are going to be wow. able to meet our food needs this season. That's amazing. That's amazing. Awesome. Uh, so now our next one starts with an A. Yeah, you're a hundred percent right, West. Making it to the end of these. Big time good. Worthwhile. Was definitely the right decision. Yeah. So glad I recommended that. You did recommend that. Yeah. I am very proud of you. A card. Just pop right. that on here. And then the uh, last thing that we have to do is increase the storm by two. Ooh. That's less good. Ooh. So that brings us to six. Doesn't If the storm hits us, though, doesn't that theoretically mean we've won? I don't know that that's how that works. Okay. I don't know okay. that that's, that's how that works. Noted. Uh, okay, so now... Have we... We're about to have someone die. I was going to say, have we not had anyone die yet? We're about to have someone we're die. We're about to have someone okay. die. So the good news is when we send the next person out on an expedition, they will actually advance as well. So, you know, we're, we're going to do good. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, preparation phase. So we're going to choose our advisor. Uh, Are we going to use any of these uh, specialty skills? You could spend your hope to heal people. Yeah. Check the math on this. Does it help? Yeah. You got a cure two. Yeah. A cure her two is not going to push anyone below a line. Uh, but is it's cure versus treat. Yeah, yeah. Cure, oh. Cure. Treat, treat is where you're treating mortal death. Yeah. I, I think. think you're right. I think you're right. Cure is where it's, it's, it's on the big Hold sheets. On. It's on the big sheets. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a good, it's a good word It's a good word check. for us to double check. Okay. So curing citizens... Yep. Treating citizens. Yep. So it's cure just moves it down by two. Yeah. It feels like that's a lot to lose for a motivation, for a hope. You know? It's if it if it crossed a line, like if we were up here, is anything yeah. gonna push us up here now? Oh eventually, yeah. No no no, but I mean right now. No. Then I don't think we worry about it at the moment. No, because we're about to do the uh, action phase. So. If that was the question, if the question was the difference between a death line of double flipping or single flipping, that is worth it. So right now it is resolve sickness marker <coughs> effects. Okay, so this one's gonna, we're gonna place down a token here. Mm -hmm. This one's going to flip, meaning we are killing someone. So this is dropping down. We have a consequence for that. Yep. Uh, I can go ahead and kill Pablo. That moves one over. Which is just gonna spend a coal. Uh, it's whatever they say on the bottom. Oh, it's whether it's on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, but we really should just take a random one. It's fine. They're all the same. Okay. I don't mind that. I'm pretty sure. They're they not all the same, way. but. Uh, oh, oh, no. Children are always the same. It's always two hope. Yeah, they're not, they're not all the same. Yeah. 
So yeah, we could choose one of ours if we want. Uh, again, I'm it's a worker, right? I'm okay killing Pablo. Uh, this is minus one hope. That's all it's gonna be. Just minus one hope. Yep. That's that's not bad. Or let's kill Rufus actually. That's minus, minus one, one hope. hope. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. Minus one hope. That sucks. Okay, so we've done that one. Now we need to flip this one, which is our engineer. Uh huh. Uh, do you have an engineer that is worth killing? Um, so I do have one that says minus one hope. And? Um, nope, just minus one hope. That's it? Just minus one hope. Uh, okay. Oh, I have one that says minus one hope as well. This is the one that uh, performs... So what she does is activate care. So she actually flips over a care, but we don't have one right now. Sure. And she performs the building's cure effect which we probably should have looked at earlier because we could have used her. But she only minuses one hope right now, which means we're completely taking a hope off. But um, that's the best that you're going to get is minus one hope. Because most of the rest of them are minus a hope and exhaust something. But if we use her along with taking an action, does she get an extra cure effect? She doesn't get an extra cure effect, but what she does do is activate a, a care. So like if activate I had- Activate a care, perform the building's cure effect. Yeah, so, so if she would, would only do this, she oh. wouldn't do the treat effect. I gotcha. So she does that plus she activates that. Alright, let's lose a hope. Yep. <sighs> Another down the drain. Alright. That's uh, the children the children don't die. The children are remaining uh, safe within their bunker. Okay, great. Of joy. Action phase. Adjust the number of citizen meeples in the supply. So did we... We have not lost any. No, I do need to move this one down. Oh, we one. do need to move that up to three. Uh, sorry, we we hadn't gained the fourth one yet, even though we crossed over. It drops down now, so we're at the same place we have been at. Okay. Um, we just didn't, we didn't get a fourth one. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so now we are placing citizen meeples in the spent citizen tokens, and we perform our actions. So one of these is spent. We have lots of joyous people ready to work hard. We have a whole bunch of cult. <coughs> we got yeah. that one guy too, don't forget him. What's he doing up there? He was on the expedition. He's so cute. Uh, how much coal do we need to make everything warm? Well, to bring us, to make everything warm? Well, just to bring us to a good state. If we want to uh, heat up the middle ring, we're at five. Five? All right, I'll give you five. Okay. Uh, if all five of those fall, plus the one that's there, we are going to explode. No, 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 we don't dump them down there. I'm aware. I'm just saying when we get to that point, we have to keep in mind that at this point, we have one hiding in there, and when we dump five, we're going to end up removing... We're going to explode. But okay. it's only the first time, which isn't a horrible thing. Sure. Yeah. So now everything through the middle is warm. All right. What are we trying to do? We definitely mm -hmm. want to go on an expedition. Yeah. We definitely want to go on an expedition to the target card. What mm -hmm. was the other... The other side card just mixed something into our main deck, right? We don't have anything that we actually have to no. specifically do at the moment. Right. But we, we could right. just send a whole bunch of them on expedition. So stuff that we know we're doing. Mm -hmm. Red is warm. So stuff we know we're doing. We know we're going to double hunter huts. Correct. Because that is going to gain us 24 food, which puts us in a position where we are satisfying our food need. Mm -hmm. We know we are going to be taking a medical action. But you need a blue one. Blue one for the medical action. We yeah. know we're going to be taking a medical action because that is going to let us start controlling this a little bit more. I think we still need to be shifting workers down. Mm -hmm. uh, so one, two, three, four on the workers. Okay. Continue shoving that down this way. We know we're going to be sending someone on an expedition. Mm -hmm. uh, so. We could send multiple expeditions. Can we? Yeah. Do you need an upgraded beacon? Don't you need, mm, don't you need an upgraded you're thing right. for multiple expeditions? You're right. Is there a second side yeah, of this beacon card? there is. Yes, sir. <sighs> That's less good. I remember that because in one of our gameplays, we went for that immediately. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It resulted in our death still. It did, yeah. Uh, so I'm saying we send a regular worker out on an expedition. They're mm -hmm. going to get a additional little bump because they're starting because that adventure. Because of our light scout sleds. Yep. Okay. 
What else do we do? We've um, got, we need to put something in there so we can take that, or are we just taking it to go? They've got to be I, a blue I, one. I mean, I'd rather not explode. This has to be a blue one. What does it cost to upgrade our, our vent? Mm. Do we know what that, 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 that resource cost is? Yes, maybe. That's a good question. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a core or something. Um, hold on. The generator mod. Yes. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking through what we need to. We're very much getting down to the point where it's like desperately try to survive. I don't think there's any good ending. I don't, like life isn't going to be happy. No, we just, just have to, to manage. It the despair. We're just trying to make it to the next level. If we could just get a little bit farther. A few rounds and this expedition will actually get to where it's trying to go. We're, we're almost there. So here it is. Okay. Uh, generate the first time. You, oh, when you spend a steam core for the first time. Yeah. On it. Yeah. Okay. But we don't have any steam cores. <laughs> we have none. We haven't found any in the expeditions. We we haven't found well, we did any find one. searching. Yeah. Yeah, but we use that. Yeah. So we need to do some so so we could use a child. Good old stinky pants. To control for the deck. Yeah, we can reveal the, the Let's far try it. tiles. Let's try it. Uh, how cold is that gonna make the child? Oh very cold. How cold? There's just one. Okay. Yeah. It is going up to the point where this is going to start flipping, though. Yeah. Let's uh, let's not let them die, but we can let them get a little sick. Okay. And we're going to be looking at the top three. Top three. All right. So we have one steam core, two trees. We have much coal. We have two food. We're going for the steam core, right? Each on either top or bottom of the far top. Uh, yes, yeah, steam core definitely. So so that push that to the top. This we'll put food next, the coal at the bottom. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna sneeze. Let's. I... That was the weirdest sneeze I've ever seen. Well, it worked. It did. All right. Are we now? Ex are we? Are we now? We have to remove snow. We have to get that steam core. This is this is gonna be such an expensive series of actions. Let's do it. Remove snow, which gets a worker sick. Makes our worker slightly more sick. In a far location. Tile. Gonna place it down here. We know what it is already. Two more trees and a steam core. And then once we get that steam core. Yeah, except we don't have warm soup. So as you we, know, you complain a lot. As we food. journey out there, uh, this is not. This is gonna be another cold action. You realize that? Yeah. Unless we toss more coal in, we'd have to toss two more coal in though. But as soon as we spin that, we're we're getting rid of all of this, so it doesn't matter. I mean, we would have gotten rid of all of it anyway. Let's toss two more coal in. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, moving that up to two positions. We haven't done any cold actions as a consequence of that yet. We're going to be spending a worker to go out here to pick up this steam core. This is coming okay. back home with us. We're going to be spending an engineer to go dump coal out of there. All of this. Uh, and we're going to be spending a steam core to upgrade that tower. Yes. Now, does this action always cost a steam core? No. It, you can do it and just take five away. But this takes all of them. Oh, I see. That's the difference. Yeah. Uh, and the first time you do it, you get the upgraded uh, piece. All right. And this goes in. I know. Technically, it's supposed to go in specifically to overlay. I like doing it staggered. I like staggering it too. At least give us a little bit of help. But it's not uh, no. how it's supposed to it's true. work. Okay. All right. So um, that was great. Now we, we have, have uh, one engineer left. One engineer. Yeah. We have one wood. That's not yeah. going to let us build very much. I. We can push technology forward by two. That's sort of what I was thinking. Yep. We could build one tent though. Which saves two people, right? Saves two people this round. What does that do for us? Uh, I mean, the technology it might prevent orange from going above. The technology allows us to treat too. So whenever you use the medical post, which is the one thing that we have here that's upgraded, we actually treat two instead of just one. So it doubles that treat value, which is just really nice. We could build another medical post. 
I mean, we're spending, we're just, uh, our actions are so expensive. Yeah. We're not gonna be occupied at, at food next round. We're gonna we're gonna have the food we need next round at right. least. So do we look at maybe doing your, um, is there anything else in here that would help us? I, there probably is. The care house? There probably is, but we already have technology. If we get technology ahead of the storm, that seems like a pretty good option. Mm -hmm. So let's go, let's go do that. I'm okay with that. Research hut, push technology above the storm. Okay. And let's stick us in a position where, uh, oh, it's on top of the storm. Yeah, the storm doesn't, oh, it doesn't matter. I see. It, it resolves at the same. I thought it was going to hit, I was going to have to hit this next round. Not quite what I wanted, but no. Close enough. All right, that's a cycle. Let's see where we are. All right, so now we're going to resolve scenario and event display card. So the dusk phase, don't have anything except for this. So grab a dusk card. I don't want to grab a dusk card. I hope it's this one. It's never that it's one. It's fear. Fear. It's fear. fear. It's, it's the one we just got. Fear <sighs> leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Suffering leads to sticky hands. Love sticky hands. Okay, okay. If you have more active hope than discontent, congratulations, we have more active hope than discontent. Do we? Oh, yeah. okay. So but we get to remove four stress cubes from the stress track. Oh no. So great, so glad we did that. Uh, and we gain food equal to the number of rounds. So we gain four food. I, I don't mind the four food. 25, okay. Okay, and now we're gonna grab another one. We're gonna grab that card over there and then we're gonna shuffle everything in. Yeah, I... We didn't know that was coming out. We definitely did Kinda not Kinda stinks, but Kinda we didn't know that, that, that was coming out. All right, uh, argument is gonna be the next one. You wanna read uh, what the potentials could be? Yes. What we're looking for? So uh, if we have no active discontent. Okay. Uh, if otherwise, okay. we're doing bad things. So we want we want no active yeah, discontent. Yeah, we, we wanna deactivate that discontent if at all possible. All right. Shuffle better, Jesse. Shuffle better. All right, what's next? Next is uh, we're going to decrease hunger by spending food as much as possible. So okay. We're going to be We're able... sitting here. Oh, with... wait, we never increased our food. Huh? We, we put these two people down. I, did, I increased our food. Our food's at 28. What? 28. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. That's we're doing awesome. way better than you ever assumed. That is amazing. I'm so like, dang, we're, we're looking in a lot for, of trouble. We're looking for 21, right. so we're going to have seven left at the end of this math. Great. That's, I love that. That's amazing. It's a really good food position. That's, that's amazing. Okay, what now? Okay, and now we're going to uh, resolve and reset the hunger marker. Great. And now we're going to feed our current citizens. So now we are feeding the, the children. Babies. We have uh, 11 babies. Okay. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's going to be four. 4. Yep. So... That's not bad. That is... We do not need that's to worry about food. Best we've done. For a turn. For a very long time, yeah. Okay, all right. <sighs> Amazing. Okay, uh, now we are going to move on to the next round, which is the night phase. So return a spent citizen token and meeples. So everybody's got to go back home. And Goodbye. we have space for two people. Can we have space for more? And the children. Why don't they cuddle? They can. We is have it? the ability to make that happen. Yeah. We get one extra person out of the deal. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, if I was, if I was in a frozen apocalyptic wasteland uh-huh i'm totally like i don't care who it is i'm going you're like sleeping you're, bag you're a little spooning me yeah yeah I agree. it's if it's that or one fingers frostbitten one why would one finger you die frostbitten? slowly in the cold oh it's like one night you lose a finger the next night you lose your nose the third night you lose your dignity oh i think i've lost my dignity a long <laughs> time ago <laughs> uh all right Let's do, let me let me quickly do the math on who we need to not let die. Oh, I see who we need to not let die. Children. Neither of them, all of them. Yeah. Holy cow, children are already warm. Okay, good. Uh, if we if we sleep two of the scientists, yeah. they'll only go up by one. Permanently? If we, sleep, if we sleep one of the scientists, we'll be okay. Okay. And we bunk one of these, we're not technically gonna be okay. Is it, oh man, we're gonna be losing some workers. We are going to be losing some workers. We're going to be losing a lot of workers. I... 
When do we get that child scientist? Uh, as soon as we find the dumb card. Oh, oh, oh please, card. I <laughs> vote we bunk two of our workers. Does bunking the workers save the workers? It kind of kind saves of. the workers, okay, yes. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to bunk two of the workers. Now we have to move them up on consequence. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. They're going to flip and flip. And we're going to have one token for each in the we expect you to live here pool. But nobody died. No one's dying. I mean, that's way better than I was anticipating, frankly. You're welcome, is what I think you meant. <laughs> I don't tell you that enough. You don't, actually. It's true. Yeah, it's and one of those should, things you that You should tell I, me you're welcome more often. I should get more comfortable with just letting you know, West. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, so pass leadership marker and move the round marker. We are now on round five. Jesse. We are halfway through, kind of ish. Um, good. So now we're going to move the mountain marker, which we did. And now we're going to resolve development and scenario trigger tokens. We don't have any. So we move forward again. Now it is the morning phase. Reveal a morning card. The morning card says, wow, long hours of toil. Some of your people are so tired they can barely walk. We must do something about it. More efficiency is not the only thing that's going to fall. Thank you, Richard Nixon. Uh, so now we can force them to work, which is plus two discontent, less good. Don't like that. Uh, or we can let them rest, place one spent worker or engineer token in the supply. Uh, then, for each active apathy, place another spent worker. Do we have we apathy? We don't have any apathy currently, <coughs> Let's so that's do that good. One. Let's sacrifice an action. Wait, there's another. Oh, okay. Uh, also, only, only if you can exhaust motivation, which we can, um, we can add this one instead. So we can just motivate them. Oh. Yeah. I mean, if, if we... So, for the record, if we do, we are now at equal numbers. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Yeah. Let's try it. That's what motivation's here for. It is. Give okay. them a rousing speech, slap a few of them on the, on the bum, and say, get out there, kiddos. All right, so we're adding a D014. And also possibly chop someone's hand off, just as that extra little bit of moral of, support. You know, it, it's continuing to remind them of their activation. I'm going, what's that? Sn I'm going Snowpiercer route, where yeah. like, you motivate them with one arm out the you know doorway. I'll motivate you to do what's good for you. That's right. Yeah. You've now been motivated. This gets shuffled in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that goes in the... Yes. Yes, it does yeah. get shuffled in. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so now we've got to fuel the generator, Mr. Okay. Anderson. How many am I jumping in? Uh, okay, so we're looking at the stress track here on the left-hand side, yep. thankfully, and not the coal amount, so we need to do four. Really? You're just going to... You should Kareem Abdul-Jabbar one, just skyhook. I missed... You How missed. did I miss? That's why I don't play. You that missed again. Missed out. All right, here's two. Okay. I think your first one got stuck, and then you knocked the next one with the first one. Probably. I think there's four down at the, bo at the bottom of this bucket. It's highly possible. Let's check this. Only three. Only three. Okay. I've, I'll I've take had that. Worst day. So we're doing all right. We're doing good. We are surviving. So we actually probably don't have to worry about this generator for a, a bit. This is going to be the round where we don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about the generator. We do have three people that are going to be, or no, two people that are going to be set off to the side. But yeah. we are, I think we are living in the lap of luxury, my friend. We are. The key is we need to get more food so we don't have to starve people so badly the next go round. I'm, and we should probably know, build more medical buildings. I know very little about endgame strategy in this, so I'm going to keep doubling down on all these <laughs> early buildings and pretend as if everything's going to continue going our way. If we win this by only having one house, oh. that is like... The end of the world. That's just like, I mean, it doesn't matter. One house, two food huts, and a medical building upgraded. <laughs> like, no one's going to look at this and say that's a functioning society. That was a well-made plan. All right. That was a well-made plan. Okay. Uh, so now we're moving into the weather phase. Uh, so we... Let me make sure I... Yeah. Okay. We have to reset the generator. I forgot. Got to take it all the way back down to zero. Uh... Yeah, okay, so now we're going into the weather phase. Here is our weather card. Uh, temperature's going up again. Yellow's going up, orange is going up. We're gaining ourselves four food. 
which is going to be exactly what we need. We're going to get three, three movement. on the expedition. Ha -cha -ha -cha -cha. So Great. close. And uh, the storm's storm moving up by one, which, which means, means it hits us immediately. Well, but it doesn't resolve yet because we don't resolve the storm until we get to the resolve the storm part, I believe. I'm pretty sure that that's the way it works. Okay. Uh, do, 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 move storm marker and it's possibly resolve the storm. The, the but see, I world. didn't get to that part where it reads <laughs> until just I now. Was, I was waiting for you to get there. Yeah. Uh, but we now resolve the storm in case you didn't catch that. So what should we do then? I love that Wes can see like a billowing funnel of clouds. Like the, the storm that just recently happened in the East Coast, Wes just stood outside and watched it approaching a day earlier and said to Hi. himself, you're not allowed to happen yet. The news told me it'd be tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our new home, home, mm, our new home storm. Okay. Reveal and resolve this card. Love that. All right. Uh, if it's round seven or earlier, we go to one. It is earlier than round seven. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. Flip all tents to Maybe the it's ruined a horrible side. Horrible thing though as well. We have no tents. We We've did. actually future-proofed ourselves <laughs> by never building a tent. We did so good with our tents. Perfect. Uh, the good thing is, is if we'd have built bunkhouses, they would have been ruined. But yeah, you know, we so didn't build bunkhouses now either. Now we know. Screw you, Storm. We're just building houses. <laughs> we we only straight up. We're not sheltering our people, but we sure as heck have two of them <laughs> living in luxury. Also, for the record, I just think this is a weird thing. Uh huh. I've got a house. Mm hmm. It's a one room. Wait, I guess thing. I guess I'm thinking. So the, here's the issue. Here's the part a part of my brain. There's 30 people technically. Right. And you're you're storing like 10 of them in one house. So that makes more sense because each That's meeple true. represents it's a group people. of workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still feel like I could get a good solid like. Oh, you can. It's a law. Yeah. You can add two more, so you'd add 20 people into that People house. are really fickle, though. They really would tell they someone... They would get angry. Like, hey, this is my corner of the room. Yeah. You need you're, to go find your own answer. You're literally putting every single person in triple bunk beds. And then that one person on the top, it can't even, like, sit up in bed because they smack their head on the ceiling. Because you can't do, like, 10 Yeah, the, I mean, the logic checks out when it comes to human nature, but when you yeah. deconstruct human nature... And it make everyone, worse. and you know, make everyone nice. That's not what happens. No. <laughs> All right. So now we're moving this uh, storm to round twelve. Love that for the storm. It's nice and far away, so we don't even have to worry about it ever again. Not it's even totally a threat. fine. Uh, great. That's that's so good. Then we'll just put that storm back, and we'll pretend that it's not gonna come. That went really back. well. That storm had no consequences. I can audibly see. Yeah, it was completely fine. This was the easiest storm we've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, great. So now we're going to the prep phase. So, uh, are we going to use any of our things? I don't think we can. No. Nope. Uh, are we going to resolve some sickness marker effects? I'm not. Great. Good times. Uh, we had no distance between the sickness tracks. Uh, I've already done the flipping of each of these. Right, which is when we would normally do it now. But so. Yeah. Okay, so, uh... Do, 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 do. We're now going to go to our action phase, so we're adjusting citizen meeples. Do we lose any? Do we gain any? No. No? Okay. Nope. Good. No, nope, we're still right where we've been. Great. And now we're going to place the Citizen Meeples on the spent tokens and uh, perform our actions. Okay. Jesse, we are in round five. I... Round yeah. five. That's good. And we get to take action still. And we're not like... We haven't destroyed our, our generator. We haven't lost everything. We're not desperate is what you're saying. I mean, we're desperate, but we're getting better. Okay, so this is the round where I think we have a bit of breathing room. We right. don't have much coal, though, so most of our actions are going to be warm, or are going to be, be frozen. I'm going to go ahead and spend two to get our red buildings at least heated up. Okay, good. That's great. Uh, but this is the round mm -hmm. where I feel like, was this on three? I feel like this is... It, it should be at three. Down. It should be at three? Yeah, because okay. we had two people die. Oh, you've been moving it, I responsibly. Have. Yes. Uh, okay, so here's my thought. This is the round where we have to plan for what is next. Yes. The future matters now. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need to go hunting for food. It might come to bite us back in the future. I do think we still need to send at least one person to the medical hunt. The which is a, a blue one. A blue one, which is a red action. Right. Uh, so that is going to let us either flip one of our skulls or move one back by four. Flipping seems to make the most sense. Yeah. And this blue one, I think, is the highest consequence. 
Yeah. What does this red thing mean down there? It means insta-death if you're all the way out there, but we're not even close, we're right? We're not there so yet. We're, fine. Yeah, we're not there yet. Okay. I am going to flip this one okay. back so that it is just going to be threatening to die, but not yet there. Mm -hmm. So now what, what does future Jesse think that we need to do? Because we haven't built any buildings in a few rounds. Granted, we have almost no resources either. Hmm, yeah. I feel like we should go and send two people into the Dreadnought to get, um... How much to is... Because we need another advanced medical bay. How much does it cost for us to get a lumber mill? Where is a lumber mill? I think it's two wood, maybe? Factory, workshop, coal thumper, hot house, formerly coal mine, wall drill... No, it's one of these first ones. Gather goes middle sawmill. Saw mill. There we are. The Two. sawmill here would start generating us wood. That seems that seems valuable. So the upgrade the upgrade gives us what? The upgrade makes it so that it can be on, on the adjacent red. locations and it's a red. So if we go and get if we spend two actions to get that steel, we've upgraded that. Or we just send two people here. If we can send one person to get coal, ah oh man, no, you gotta go way I out. think I think your first instinct's right. I like your first instinct. I vote two people to the Dragnaut uh -huh. for steel. Okay. Uh, that steel we're going to spend to build, but let's hold on to it till we decide if we're going to build anything else as well. Hear me out for a second. I'm hearing you out, but not for very long. Only if we go here, we pick up both of those, right? Both the coal? Yeah. Yes. So that one action gets us to here. Doesn't, oh, get, us it doesn't get us very far, no. does it? Yeah. No, give me, give me two cold actions. My workers are okay. going to go up by two. That's just part of how life is here in the frozen Arctic, yep. which is really Nebraska. That gives us two steel, good. We've got three actions left. One of these actions has to be used for a build. Mm -hmm. We've got one wood, which means we could do a charcoal kiln, mm -hmm. converting that wood that we're going to be getting directly into coal. Yep. That could be a worthwhile, and we could maximize it with one more person getting another iron. Or we come down here and get a coal thumper. That's a long, that's a long build. It's two removed snows. That's a long build. No, that's a long build. Okay. Uh, here, I'll tell you what, uh, here's what I'm thinking, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. You so, can veto me. Yeah. I'm thinking we get one more steel. A third piece of steel. Uh -huh. We then spend that to build the charcoal kiln. We get two more red buildings, which is going to be a lumber mill here generating us three wood from every tree, right. and a charcoal kiln generating five coal for every wood, for every single wood. Mm -hmm. That creates a resource pool of wood and coal with red buildings, mm -hmm. which means two people are now giving us most of what we need for the future turns. Okay. I'm okay with that. All right. So, up top there, another guy is getting sick. Uh, build action, so now we have three. We do still have, we could get another hunters. What do you think sub actions are? Uh, I uh, don't know, but-, but Because you, you perform this action as normal, except you may upgrade a building by paying its upgrade cost and using two sub actions. Not sure what so, so, sub-action is. I wonder if sub-actions is actually the... You get to use two actions on one of the buildings. Probably not, though. I feel like it just means you get to upgrade a building plus make the other two buildings. I feel like that's probably what it uh, is. By paying its cost... Oh, no, sub-actions. So, like, you get... I think it's I think it's you get three actions, three building actions. Right, which is each one of those do. would be considered a sub a, a sub action. Right. And so my I think this says you're using two so, instead of one to do that action. Hmm. There's a consequence to it. You could only build two buildings. Gotcha, but one of them is an upgraded building. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We don't need to use her anyway. We because you were gonna build upgraded buildings with what we're doing anyway, right? Yeah. So 
Do we? So we're gonna do what you said, right? We have one person left. Uh huh. And I'm I'm trying to see if we want to build anything else immediately. Like for instance, we could go ahead and get another steel and build another level two hunter's hut, or a level two gathering post, or another level two charcoal charcoal kiln. If we wanted ten coal. Potentially. I mean, we're about to need a lot of coal because it's an eight right now, which that's probably the best option. Like, yeah, yeah. We should probably, if we're gonna do that, and go that direction. Because so the things that we're building are what? So, uh, <clears throat> place this guy up there for the build. Well, let's place this guy up there. He's gonna get a little bit more sick. Now, engineer is gonna pop down to our build zone. Right. Uh, so we have four steel. Uh, we're going to grab a sawmill Which for two steel. steel to the upgraded side here. So it can now collect from adjacent properties mm -hmm. and its own property. Then we're gonna grab two charcoal kilts, which is gonna be one steel each. Okay. Uh, this is gonna pop down here. This is gonna pop down here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are going to convert wood directly into coal. Five coal. Okay. And that's everything we you have except for one wood. That's all of it except for one wood. <clears throat> all right. I feel. I feel like that's a good good use. I feel like we've progressed our settlement. I uh, feel like we have as well. So I feel pretty good about that actually. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Uh, resolve scenario and event Don't cards. Want to resolve an event? Grab card. one of them. Just hopefully it's this kid. That's finally They're never good, training. West. They're never good. It's an argument. It is an argument. It's never good. It's never good. There's, and I know there, like most of the cards in that deck are actually okay for us right now. Right. And they're never good. So because we didn't get rid of our active discontent, we now... Okay, so uh, if you have no active discontent, we do. So uh, otherwise, for each type of discontent, you have performed the following. And the type of discontent we have is anger. So we get to gain two six citizens. It could be worse. It, they could be any citizens. They don't have to be those guys. Kill the kids. Just push the kids forward this by two. This is gone. We're pulling in this one. I know. I don't want to admit it either. Mistrust. Uh, if you have more hope tokens than discontent tokens, so far we're there. Um, so, so keep our hope. Keep our hope. All right. What are the two citizens we're going to let suffer? It has to be children. You, you're, we're gonna kill the children? We're not killing them. They're just sick. All right. More sick kids. You you do this. I have put that negative card on the top twice now. You're really bad at the shuffling thing. Really angry. <laughs> That's why we have the one anger left. That's it's true. just never so going so away. Furious. Just so furious. You know, righteous anger. Rawr. All right. Okay. We made the kids sick. All right, uh, now we're leaving the dusk phase and going on to the hunger phase. So Love that phase. Decrease hunger by spending food. <laughs> awesome. Now we're resolve and reset the hunger marker and feed citizens based on the current round. We are feeding all of the engineers. Yes, 14. Less good. It's actually not bad. Two, two hunter's hut actions will make us even again on that. Right, but we didn't make up for anything, but we did do some really we great We did a actions. lot of big, yeah. We're, we're yeah. in an okay position right now. Uh, now we return spent citizen meeples. Huh. This is where it gets <laughs> bad. Mm-hmm. I got the one guy that was hiding again. He was trying to get up in the dreadnought again. I feel like if we miss him, he actually slept there and was okay. Yeah? You think that's how that works? There's got to be places that are, like, hidden from the wind. Mm-hmm. You'd think. And it's only, like, negative 20 there as opposed to feels I, like listen, I've slept on a park bench at like 30, 40 degree weather. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I just don't recommend it. No. Yeah. Uh, uh, lay down our meeples. Yeah, we've got we've got two places to mm -hmm. store them. Let so check we, the math here. Yeah. Uh, we are dying either way. So uh, good. Good. Uh, the worst of the best is let's let's avoid our engineers. Engineers is gonna go up by one. And this is gonna go up by one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Yeah. That's not, not good. Not sheltering. 
Why have we not enacted the law to bunk more people together yet? Yeah, we really should probably do that. Because we're about to lose, we're about to flip that thing three times. Oh, this is going to be a problem. And we're, we're putting three people on their deathbed. Yeah, this here is going to be a real really, really bad. issue. And we're like two away from insta-death. I understand. Okay. Um, great. So, pass the leadership marker, move the round marker. Hey, guess what? We can now cure... Ooh. Do two treats. We do slightly better at the healing. Slightly better at the healings. We need to build all. We need to build a dozen medical huts. Fill every zone on the board with, <laughs> with medical, medical huts. huts. The problem is we won't have enough people to go work at those huts. Mm-hmm. Uh, do we do the hunting tactics to get just a little bit more food? Yeah, we might as well. I don't know that. We're, I, I, I'm curious to see if we even cross that mark, because we are going to be triggering uh, lots of bad path and well, we'll be triggering the scenario path and winter home. Oh, yeah. That's definitely going to end it for good. It won't end it, but it'll be something. It'll something. be a step closer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. So, resolve development and scenario trigger tokens. We don't have any. Morning phase. Reveal and resolve the morning card. What does the morning card say? Strange oh. noises. Beat. Beat. People Beat. have begun complaining that they can't sleep because of strange noises. This weird occurrence takes place every few nights. Plus one discontent. You know what that is? It's someone who It's thought... the children banging on the door. No, no, no. It's someone who thought they really needed a uh, 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 one of those fire things. Yeah. Fire alarms, smoke alarms. Yeah. That they brought it with them in their pack. Yeah. And they ran out of nine volt batteries, but it's, it just keeps beeping. Beep, 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 beep. And then just waits for a minute and a half and then beeps again. Beep, 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 beep. And then, but it lasts forever because it's on a nine volt. Nice. That's what it is. Nice. All right, great. So uh, we're going to plus one discontent. That's great. That's really good. Um, no matter what, we plus one discontent. That's fabulous. Yeah, there's no option to that. So, so here's the next thing that we're going to do. Uh, it can't go on like this. The source must be found. Someone's got to find that smoke alarm. We're going to burn down the child shelter. I knew it. <laughs> Place one spent worker engineer token in the supply as they go look for it. Or... We don't have time for this, or the manpower to investigate. Besides, who cares about some stupid rats in the wall? Yeah, absolutely, we're not. There's no need for this to be taken no. care of right now. Y'all just need to chill. Now is not the time to worry about stupid noises. So we're gonna add uh, the bottom A hundred percent. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, this is tomorrow's consequence. D50. <laughs> Screw future me, tonight me needs to not have an engineer missing because we're not gonna have any workers to use on anything. Yeah. Whoever designed and worked on this game is a cruel person. A very, I would like very to establish that publicly for the record. They're bad people. Don't no, I don't read it. that yet. I'm no. not allowed to read that yet. Okay, great. Okay, so that that's we've done that now. Great. So good for that. Okay. All right, so now we're at the fuel the generator I phase. I love this phase. This is one of my favorite phases, actually. I've said that from the very beginning of this video. From the video, very beginning, right? One of my favorite phases. That's good. Uh, so we're we're gonna we're gonna fuel the generator, yeah. uh, which is where our stress level is at two. So we've got to add two pieces of coal in the top because we chose mm -hmm. not to heat um, heat the things. So just put those to the side. I mean, we can drop. Let's drop them. That that was really poor. I missed both, both of them. Both of them. I, that defense mechanism we've built in there is really effective. This is extremely effective. Ooh. Oh. That felt good. Some of those didn't. Can I pull this? Not yet. Why? We need to gain six citizens based on the heat and cold markers. But I so, don't want to gain six citizens. I hear what you're saying. Where's our heat marker? So our heat marker is is here, but we need to gain these citizens first. So we've got one, two, so two workers. And I believe all red buildings are warm. So yeah. our bunkhouse is still, not our bunkhouse, our house house. It is still, oh, you know where it's not good? Uh-huh. Um, uh -huh. Stinky feet and right, how many sticky are we getting? hands. Shut up. How many are we getting? Two, two up with the workers. <laughs> two up with the workers. Two with the scientists. Two with the scientists. And one with the child. One child plus three. So that's four. Wow. Weird. That's, this is it right here. I'm pretty sure this is it. West, good news. Good news. Really good news. There has not been a single ounce of good news we this entire campaign. We cannot get any more sick with our children. Oh, that's good news. Yeah, let me show you. So over here, yeah. you see our sickness marker hit 12. Oh. That's... And we have 11 kids. 
Mm. That means our sickness marker is actually going to stay at a very royal 11. I love this idea. It's impossible to get it any just higher. can't go any higher. But what can happen is one kid, one yeah. very stinky kid, very stinky. could get a worse fever. Mm. Yeah, so we're just going to flip that over. Good. And one kid's almost dead, but but no more kids are sick. But no more, no more kids are no, sick. There are no more sick kids. Mm. They're all already sick, which means now... There can only be two types of children, dead children, dead children and more sick, sick children. Kids. Yep. Hmm. It's positive. It's a good step for our society. I'm going to be honest about that. That's a that's a good... I've heard a having outcome. pneumonia young is good for your intelligence. It does actually prepare you for the future. Uh, lots of smoking. That's what I've heard. <laughs> um, that's what I've heard. Okay. So we've, right. we've, we've, we've dropped our coal, right? We've dropped our coal. We, we've, we've placed our cubes. We've, uh, we've checked for breakdown. Uh, okay. So now we've reset the generator. Yeah. Wow. Um, hey, guess what? Huh? It's the weather phase. Love that. Love the weather phase. Always been my favorite phase, the weather it's, phase. It's the best I've of said that's a bad weather phase. That is a... That, wow. It's like a hungry weather face. All right, so temperature goes up. Uh, everything goes up. Even yeah. the red goes we up. We are going to get four really? food, though, which... That's great. Good for us. Like, three Very rabbits are still alive. Very nice. Uh, and hey, we're moving four on our expedition. And once one of those kids dies, we'll actually have more, so... Yeah, I mean, they're just waiting. I mean, anyway. more room. Mm -hmm. Not... Not more children. Food. Yeah. Um, four. Hey, we're going to hit our card. That's so good. That's Maybe not... that will like end everything. And let's and... move. We might. Yeah, this could be win. I bet it's not, but this could this be could where be we. This could be like, hey, congratulations, boys. Oh, so much flavor text. Do you want to read it, West? Sure. Are you are you the flavor text mood? Absolutely. Come on, Winston. <clears throat> Do your best. Oh, Winston. Okay. Um... No, you can do anyone. You can do other people, too, if you want. After a long and exhausting march, our scouts came back with news about Winterhome. They've climbed up to the edge of the city. They stood there speechless, staring at the scene of utter destruction. Oh, yes. Tell me more. Tell me more. Most of the buildings were destroyed. Destroyed, you say? And the generator has exploded. No, not the generator. Our people found some resources oh. that weren't entirely covered by snow. I do love not snow-covered resources. I do. But in this city, everyone is dead. No, oh, dead. What is your state of being? They've recovered City Chronicle, describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair. Beatrice is going to be very upset. There's squabbles. Don't tell her. The riots. Oh, man. The descent into anarchy. I hate anarchy. Fights for dwindling resources. Well, that's reasonable. And the final moments of starvation. That's a bad way to go. The last entry says, God forgive us. God forgive us. We are eating our dead. You literally just talked about it. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> there dear, is dear, no... Dear God. No hope. <laughs> Signed, people of this terrible town. So you're saying hope also died? Oh, yes. Yeah, she died first. She was very large, though, so we made a nice soup out Consumable. of Consumable. She was very nice. I always did think that about who. Uh, so if SO3 has not been revealed, place SO7 face up in the scenario display. Has SO3 been 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 displayed? SO3 has not been displayed. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um Hmm. If it's not been revealed, it has not been revealed. Place SO7 up in the scenario display. All right, grab SO7. SO7 it is. SO7. This means we're there's no hope for them or for us is what I, I'm, I'm hearing. Great. If it's round oh. seven or earlier, it is earlier than round seven. We gain one steam core, three wood, and four coal. One steam core, three wood, and four coal. So this is the supplies they're bringing back. No okay. food, I notice. Um, and here is SO7. Three wood? Uh, one steam core, three wood, and four coal. Okay, SO7. SO7 is <sighs> winter, <clears throat> winter home fell during the storm. We must prepare or share their fate. Yeah. The severity of the storm might forbid us 
from venturing outside. Stockpiles must be made. Okay. So, during our action phase, each time you perform this action, spend an amount of food and or coal. Place the corresponding stockpile markers on this card to track food rations, one for every three foods spent, <laughs> and coal stock, one for every two coal spent. Honestly, considering that we have just invested in both healthy food distribution and very aggressive coal generation, I mean, yeah. We're set up to win, if only we had houses. Uh, and we would have to make it to round 12. Why? That's when the storm's coming, and I assume that's probably what's going to... No, I think as, as long as we have the stockpile, we're, we win. You think? I believe so. That, I don't think but there's no, like, the action final thing. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> You're probably right. You're probably right. Okay. It's not like sticking a lot of coal in the corner... Oh, wait, that goes down here. ...prevents... Well, I'll leave it over there. Uh... I was trying to think of a sickness that comes with cold. The flu? Don't say pneumonia, that's too easy. Yeah, you already said pneumonia. Iron lung. <laughs> Iron lung? Yeah. No, tuberculosis. That one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, great. So now we don't have to move the storm because nothing came of that. And uh, now we're going to gain... We gained our food, right? Yeah, we, we haven't, advanced we haven't our done scouts. our death thing yet, by the way. Our death thing. Where we flip these and see how many people die. Why Why do you have to insist on doing that? I'm just reminding that we haven't done that yet. Right, I was trying to avoid it in our preparation phase. Okay, I'm just letting but you know. if you really want to do that... Okay, are we there now? We're, we're there now. Do we want a cure? But we can't because we don't have any Yeah, that's care. not going to work. Yeah. So, kill people? Why do you want to murder kids? I feel like... Um, so I was just reminding you that we hadn't done the murdering of the children yeah, yet. Yeah, but that's, that's all that's I was that, trying to clarify. That's that bottom part of the, of the prison. We were just going to skip over that. Well, I've been we managing... We don't need to really resolve me, sickness. I've got this handled. I've been managing this very well. We just know that everybody's sick. Can't we just they're say, like, all... eh, they're sick? It's just it's not the way I it works. I think so. Yeah, we just be like, everybody's sick. I don't know why. Everybody's sick. Um, we, you know, most people don't go to the doctor anyway. It's too expensive. I don't so, go to the doctor. Yeah, there's no I've been reason. I've doctor for like eight years. There's absolutely no reason for it, especially these people. There probably isn't even a doctor there anyway. If you ignore there it, is. We actually it will invested. go away. We invested a lot in a doctor. Let's check that. Let's oh, check right. ignoring it Fine. and having it go away. I'm going to start with probably our most critical risk on the board. Children. 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 I'm going to start with the children. Start with the children. We because should always we start with the children. Because we hear the most children. about the children. We are going to be adding one token to the table here that's going to uh, require a child to not go to work. Not go to work. That's fine. We're just going to close them within the door in their building that they're Correct. already locked up in. So good. And uh, the good news is one of these is going to flip. Okay. Because remember, we had that kid that got extra sick yeah, that one time. Got, yeah. Uh, and resulting then kind of in, on everybody. Resulting in one death of one child. Ooh. Um, and both of these are going to go down. That's all right, right? One I, death of one child. Okay, the problem is, is that children are very expensive when they die. We lose two hope for that. Now, we can we can absorb some of this, but we also have to deal with the exhausting uh, other things. I've got to activate apathy, minus two hope, and I don't believe we've activated We don't have apathy. apathy. We so, don't have apathy, so we can ignore that, this. so it's just two hope. So it's just exhausting. So, so we can exhaust this one for one, Okay. right? And then we'll just take motivation off. And we still have one hope left. Or I mean, we have one. That's fine. That's good. That's fine. We can. We we might. We might be fine. able to pull this out. Let's go to our next most critically at risk individuals. Okay. We all know engineers are old, and they're the most important. And the most important. Well, yep. We're gonna have one token pop down here onto a blue engineer spot, meaning okay. that they're not going to be able to go to work, good. and we're going to flip from generally healthy to not feeling so well anymore. And how many died? Mildly uncomfortable. Not a single one died, though, because I'm managing this board very well. <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, not a one died? Not one died. Really? I am doing a really good job over here. <laughs> you worry about your own stuff. Man. And All right. I will continue worrying about the workers' union. <sighs> uh, now, they did, uh, did... They did spend some time drinking last night. The expedition came home. You know, alcohol cures. They brought alcohol back with them. I, as a speaker for the people, did advise them mm. to maybe indulge in their libations. Sure. Some of them that were not feeling so well did go out on the night, but let's check the camp. I okay. don't think there's any consequences happening because of that. Probably fine. 
So looking over here, okay. There are at least three who are still seemingly inebriated. Okay. So that's okay. That means we're just going to have a lot less people to do the critical task of keeping the settlement alive this next season. But they're not dead. Well, we they are outside still. We haven't checked pulses. Mm. So, but let me again, check, let me check, let me it? check. Okay, um... One of them is, one of them is dead. One, one of them one is of dead. One of them is dead. Yep, yep, at least, um, let me... Do you, do you, do any of okay. your cards say anything other than And one minus... more of those, I've checked the pulses of all three individuals that were outside. Okay. And I can confirm... Yeah. Not a single two of them are dead. Two of them are currently dead. <laughs> Not a single two. Not a single two of them are. Of them. We are up to seven dead. We haven't seven, lost according to the... Seven um, dead. Um, I, I have this great card here that says minus one hope, and it's just minus one hope for one of them. We don't have hope. We... That is the last hope we have, though. <sighs> right there. We were doing so good. We probably should have... Did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? We probably should have built leave, some If houses. you watch to this point, leave a comment down below letting us know where we went wrong, because I can't see it. I'm blind to what we... I mean, we invested... Yeah. We invested heavily in, in medical research. Yeah. We have food. some of the best food stores... Amazing This side stores. of the Mississippi. Right. Uh, what was, at one point, the Mississippi. Now we call it the great... Frozen Midwest lake thing. Uh, slip and slide. Streeter. Uh, we had expeditions. Yeah. Uh, we're ready to start throwing coal, coal into our stockpile. So much coal. We would have been, we, we the, could have powered this thing for days. Honestly, I think the people failed us. I think, I think, you know who it was? The it was people. the children. The children let it us down. It was definitely the children. The children Again, drug us We had this down. one, this one kid right here. This engineer spent all his time trying to teach this dumb little kid how how to how to do this the game would have transformed if we'd got access to a single engineer child not one child was, was smart enough even to remotely even help turn a wrench not one embarrassing i mean embarrassing. i i forced them out to to at the very least get us to to just look around ridiculous right all right thank you for watching thank you for being here we know it's been a longer video uh this is one of those like, especially when we're just sitting here having fun diving yeah. into it and like uh, trying our best to be entertaining and actually play the strategy here. One of the things that I think is so cool about what Frostpunk has done is all the different levels and modules and things that you have to balance. It really is like the video game. These yeah. escalating steam vents that just at some point will start whistling and breaking and boiling over. Absolutely. And we have in our past lost with every condition. We've lost Absolutely. with despair, like we just did. We've lost yep. with dead people. We have lost with the furnace exploding. We've mm -hmm. lost with the storm raging through and destroying everything and leaving us with no hope. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We've done a great job at, at so good. not winning. We've but found every had, way not to win. I have, I have genuinely had some of uh, the best uh, experiences playing through this and losing. Yeah. Compared to other games that I have struggled through and, and actually won. I don't think so. I've ever enjoyed losing a losing game as, as much, much yeah. as I've enjoyed losing yeah, this one. So. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.